Okay. From oh, a music standpoint, it's, a, it's, an, it's amazing an amazing song. It's an amazing song. But you're a dickhead. You you wild as fuck, though. Yeah. Okay, so y'all tell me what I did wrong. This is a song for the viewers. I just played a song that I wrote. Okay. Oh, they heard it. If about I was, play for them, if too. If I was on the other side, it would have just been the little stuff you were saying. Like, I love you when you ain't even love yourself. I don't like your new nigga. Um, I, I you just sound you, you seen love bro. You sound like I don't, like I don't really nigga. like your new nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Give me life, bro. You sound like a victim, bro. And it sounds like she did something to you, and that you feel me. Every woman that listens to the song is gonna be like, I uh, wish I, ni- I wish I had a nigga feel that way about me. Yeah. Why would you let or somebody go like that? They gonna or think that she gonna yeah. clown your ass and be like, this nigga is crying. That's what, what I the feel. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I, and that's how I took it. Like I'm being funny. But no, they're gonna make it seem like she's a bitch because she don't want you and she ain't being or. No. But the song has the Drake effect too, though, yeah. right? Just mm-hmm. like Drake would come across as sensitive to a lot of niggas, every nigga understands though that they felt like Drake before, right. whether you right. want to admit it or not. Mm-hmm. So that's a song to where when I listen to it, like every man has been has been there, it's whether relatable. he want to admit it or not, it's relatable. But at the same time, there was in in that song, there was it almost seemed like you did nothing wrong because I ain't hear you say shit about what you did. Mm-hmm. I really didn't do that wrong. That's why she gonna be mad. That's why she gonna be mad. But, it then, would be a great song. I also put a rap, I also but. did a rap verse on the end, like that I'm combining to the end of that, so I can like get out my bitch. You ass had to clean. You had to clean it up. I felt like people were gonna be like, "You a bitch ass nigga," so I had to do my thing. That's but exactly I don't think you. Where I went to. Yeah. You got bitch ass nigga vibes. <laughs> I did. God damn! What? What? Hold on! Wait a minute now. now you don't really like your old new nigga. Like I'm gonna start saying it, boy. Give me life. <laughs> Well, it's live, we live, we live. Oh, boy, your uh, ass was singing. I said, this bitch got hey. vocals, boy. <laughs> it gave me the chills. What the fuck is you doing? Oh, my God. You trying to hit the nuts, though. Because I don't, don't like the new thing. I don't like the new I don't like the new I wish I could hit the note. My thing is, mm-hmm. why does it matter that much who her new nigga is? No, it don't matter. It don't that, matter. But that's what I'm, I'm saying. Petty. That's how the that's audience is going to look at it. Like, nigga, you on this nigga dick. Like, but first of all, women post all these memes about how they want you to love them and be obsessed with them and be over the moon for them and fight for me and all that. But then when a nigga a, make a song, you a bitch more. ass nigga. So I, what the fuck am I? No. I don't. I don't think it come across. It didn't. It didn't give me no, bitch like, ass nigga vibe. But no, I. I want to. Yeah. But but I mean Drake sometimes give me that vibe that you saying. And I, don't I don't listen, listen to Drake song, no more. I've had started song transitioning and before. going commercial. I don't listen to Drake oh, okay. music. What's your song say, Tanil? It, it was it was very similar, like, you know, I don't want you to go and shit like that. <laughs> and I had a love letter given to me before. What made me mad about both of them was the audacity that they thought that because they did it, I was going to accept it, and that was it. Right. That's what pissed me off. Not really what... Not really what they said. Did that nigga say that yeah. he gonna cut his wrist because if he can't cut the tension, and though? That's what I'm did he say that? Yeah, like, this nigga yeah, ain't saying that. It. No, we damn like, near suicidal. Like, and, and that's yeah. the other thing. Like, the goal. the video, the video I'm gonna go murk myself at a church. No, no. Oh. I'm gonna be fly like wow. that. Yeah, like, and then listen, and when that's I die. That's all that video. And then when I die, like, as soon as I kill myself, like, I'm going to have her, You be like, back with her. Nah, like, her phone, like, she don't call my phone. She got, like, blood on the phone. Mm-hmm. And then her picture pop up, like, the little thing. The heart. It's just a metaphor, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but is. here's the thing, though. It Let is. me be for real with you. The metaphor. I me, get it. Yeah, me and my, I don't know, like, I, of course you don't know. You just met me. But uh, me and her was cool as fuck. Like, this one of the coolest niggas at one point in time. Coolest women I have ever dated. Y'all met her, though, right? Mm-hmm. One of the coolest Women I have ever met, like, literally when we was together, I'm like, bro, this is my teammate. This is my dog. We was on the same shit. I've never had to, I've never had to be with a woman where I didn't have to separate some of myself to be with her. You get what I'm Aww. saying? This I was the it. first person where I'm like, dog, I could be me. Like, she cool as fuck. She on the same shit I'm on. She like the same music I'm on. She with the trap shit. When I showed up to Sacramento, she had my name, like, fucking on the shirt. He tatted both our names on each other. Like, it was just a dope-ass vibe. And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason she got going on in her life, she just cut it off, right? So I was going to make a song for her when we was together. She was asking me to make her a song. But I never got around she to got it. got that And time. I made a whole album. Yeah, she did. So I'm like, now that we going through the separation, I'm like, man, let me make a song then. I just put all my little emotions in the record in. I don't you know really think she's gonna be offended. I think she just kind of is gonna, gonna fuck. Offended. It's gonna fuck yeah, with her. Initially, I, I think she is, but I, I think over I, time. They don't know her. I yeah. don't. I, I don't. know her. Is she gonna be hot? Yeah, she's gonna be hot. she's a real nigga, though. She's gonna be hot. But over time, I think, like, she might not hear it first and be like, oh, thank you so much. Right. But, like, 
three, four years, she's going to be like, that is kind of dope. I because can type you, my name in right, on and Apple pop, Music. And the shit pop up. There's a whole wreck about me. And I'm going to hate it every time I listen to it, but I fuck with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's kind of like how, uh, uh, what's his name? Bryson Tiller got the song where he be like, and I get There's my no, song. Yeah. It ain't a song got like that one. But no, I'm saying like he gets songs played everywhere just so she have to hear it. And the only thing I don't like about her new nigga is, because women do cold shit, like y'all don't understand what not what to do and what not to do. Like y'all yeah. cross the line. Y'all are habitual line steppers, right? If you date, no, no, y'all, you, no, you ain't never done. I'm listen, not if you date a musician, your next nigga can't do nothing in music. You right. You feel me? You she right. might like musicians. No, but well, fuck all that. I make music. I rap. I make music. That's our thing. You posting my shit. You got my but name. But, like but, but to her credit, to fair. her credit though, ninety eight percent of black men in America do music. You no, know, but it's niggas that paint. It's niggas that and play ball. Music. Go bait up. Go date a nigga who could, who with a jump shot or something. And like, that nigga rap too. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But I rap better. My music better than the nigga she fuck with. So that's not a thing. But it's like, what, what made me mad? Like, I, okay, I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm real about my shit. I'm transparent. That's why I like you. You transparent too, right? I stalk her page. I, like that's just the real <laughs> shit I was about to tell you. So when we first broke up, I mean, it's, it's the only bitch in the world I'm checking on. So fuck it, man. It ain't that bad. You good? Well, yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, right. Cool. Living whatever. Truth. So cool. She posting like, you know, like when you make a song, it come up like this. You yeah. feel me? When you just record from the studio. So this is what I started seeing on her page. She was like, oh, I'm playing this over and over again. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is you playing over and over again? Oh, it's somebody else's music? It's terrible. That nigga it, made it, a song about her, her that he never no, did. No, no, he, no, he ain't made no song. I would have beat that nigga ass. So I would have flew out there to whoop that nigga, though. You don't believe that, though. Dude. He I'm was wild dead ass serious. He had made a post well, one day. One thing about me is I'm passionate, right. but I'm angry. Don't let this light skin wild shit fool you, though. I choke a nigga out about something I care about. I'm going to take my other shot. So me too. She was posting a song, and then all of a sudden she was like, I can't stop. This this on repeat. I'm like, bitch, you playing that shit over and over? It, it, it is worse when he terrible at it, too. Now, he not terrible. I okay. won't do that. I'm not a hater. He's not terrible. Okay. The nigga can sing. You get what I'm saying? But can he I, dance, too? He probably is a dancer, and I'm glad because that... It, Y'all like lame ass niggas. I hope he danced. <laughs> that made me feel better. That made what me feel better. What kind of dance? Like Omar Young? Oh, like, he definitely a touch nigga. Touch. Yeah. He, wanted, yeah. he definitely wanted to touch a touch nigga, right? Yeah, like one a of them. A dancing nigga fuck your bitch, boy. No, that's fine. Yeah, that, that. Cause women like wild shit, though, so I'm cool but with that. But he got the moves. Like, that might like Jagger? Sh- that might. <laughs> yeah, I'm. It might help <laughs> his stroke game. Know how to that shit pop, don't translate to the bedroom. Eight by eight. Because this is yeah. motherfucking women. I ain't, women that I ain't never had no dance. That's I ain't worried about what he coming behind. But and at gay it, strippers. I mean, well, not gay strippers. Male strippers make me think of You had it right the so, first time. Right. 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 Gay strippers. I don't like ain't no such shit. thing as a male stripper. Yeah, no, no straight male stripper. I like to go to see girls. I don't want to go to see guys. Enough about me. All right, so cool. What I ask y'all is before I intro, what is the smallest shoe size nigga that you could that you could deal with? Let's say you go to the club and you meet a nigga and he is an excellent guy. Handsome, dresses nice. Turn you on the next day. He asks you to meet him for lunch or dinner or whatever y'all meet for, right? And and when you get there, y'all arrive in separate Ubers and you get there and he put his feet out the door first. And you see that size, goddamn seven and a half youth. <laughs> but, but, but they clean though. They they dead stocks. So, <laughs> you know he put he put some elite shit out. He, he fit step out. I, What's the smallest size where you be like, oh no? Um, I wear a four. So everything's kind of big to me. However, you know what they say about women with little feet? I don't know. Little socks. <laughs> <laughs> but my first boyfriend had little feet. I think he wore like a, t- a nine and a half, ten. That's small, mm-hmm. right? Nah, that's 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 like that's average foot size, yeah. ten and a half. So I like a seven or an eight. If you round by the eight, that's weird. Yeah, I like tall niggas. So, so normally feet. they be having like a twelve or thirteen. I don't think I've ever dated anyone other than that. But the, my that's first the smallest shoe size you dated a. At the nine and a okay. half, ten. But I was in high school. But so, as an adult, so twelve, hi- thirteen. So hold on, before you go, hypothetically for me, you meet a new dude. What's the smallest size for you? Be like, oh no, I got to get back in my Uber. Okay, like it can't look like. You know how like my foot look like something wrong. Give us a size, yeah. man. So what's that? Like a I can't I think like a eight or a nine is gonna look little as fuck on a man, right? If you tall. Yeah. L- Lil Wayne wear a seven. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I ain't doing a seven. <laughs> what was the size? That's kind of hard to say because mm-hmm. shoe size doesn't even it don't, it but I'm going to assume. Yeah, I know but I it's am. still certain shit you just can't deal with. Like if I I can have a big ass dick, but what if I got some little hands? 
And you, you can't me? even hold and your I own And I put them on you and like the motherfucker from Scary Movie that is, and be man. trying to like rub your shoulder yeah. during the movie. You then what? And they can't touch I got midget. I, I got yeah. I got little people hands. Yeah, I'm packing, but I can't even grip it because my hands little. Anything under a size nine. It's, it's just because I wear a seven and a half. Oh yeah. yeah. How about this? We can't wear the same. Because their shoe size is too big. Because I know. If I Definitely. wore like a 14, I just wouldn't wear shoes. Definitely. <laughs> hey, listen, you well, are right, right though. Yeah, because shoes, I don't give a fuck how fly you think your shoes is. <laughs> you got a 14 on, nothing is good. Them bitches made up. Yeah, this is my Them thing. bitches Photoshop. <laughs> take, the, <laughs> take them shoes off. In the store, you might get a 13, maybe you said a possibly the Martians. 14. <laughs> yeah, you pushing it. But if you got to order your shoes and get them custom like Shaq and shit, I ain't fucking <laughs> my with you. My dog wears 16. Nah, nah, I ain't fucking with you. Nah, listen. I ain't fucking with you. Them the ain't even made out of scared as fuck. Them bitches made out of mattress. I'm just gonna be <laughs> but you do know that does not it does equal it. penis. Size. But I know I know that. However, I I I did have to turn a dick down before. That was too fucking big, and his foot I've was big as fuck too. To turn down. Bitch, I turned it down. I'm sorry. I haven't. That's a mean ass problem to have. You pull your shit out, and the girls just be like, you know what? I'm I'm straight. I was like, nah, bro. It's only same. a problem if you got the feet to say otherwise. No, I meant like if His your shit's too big. big. Too, no, nah, but that's a problem. Not, I would love that's to That's a have good that. problem. I would I'm love to have a tit that's too big. Yeah, her man. Uh-uh, I'll say wild wrong. shit if you were like, uh, I'm like scary ass bitch. You, <laughs> it was so like you that. Swim, oh, man, I'll put was... you all on live. Look at this scary ass hoe. <laughs> <laughs> tell me I got too much to tell him. Tell him. I have you all on live. Me too. But I've actually talked to somebody that had a size shit. 11 foot, mm -hmm. but his dick was, was small. small. Yeah, very small. Yeah. 11 ain't considered a big foot though. At all, that, it's I don't know. For me, it is. Yeah, I because think I think I think hands are more telling accurate. than feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that nigga had some giant ass hands. His dick was just love. You gotta look at the molars. That tell you how to Bitch, open your mouth. I need to see 32 through 36. I'm, I'm, I'm just tell you, just tell you for, if a nigga got like a half mole in the back, that nigga got a whole dick down there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a I've been had a half molar since I was little. <laughs> you, 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 you all right though, huh? <laughs> you say you all right though, huh? Uh, but look, I, 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 I don't be. I know y'all think I'm crazy. I don't be making shit up. Tell a nigga say ah oh, next time you meet him. That man said no. he got a half molar back there. If he, if he got that. <laughs> I'll be like, this day's oh, I'm over. telling you, though, that teeth, they can't bite nothing. Oh, you can play with a play one that had the hibachi? Uh, yeah, like, hey, <laughs> 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 oh, man. If you so see that, no, look. No, first date is at a hibachi restaurant, so when they do the wine spur, you can be like, yeah. oh, 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 man. oh, you got all of your moments. Oh, yeah, we fucking tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, though. You catching you catching that shrimp? Yeah. Look, let me take uh -oh. some shrimp later. <laughs> no, you mm -hmm. want some sake? <laughs> that nigga open his mouth, and all you see about 30 teeth, um, in older age, though, I have found that I don't I don't think size matters as much as I like curves. I like a curve. Well, what you gonna do with a little mini? If, what if it's a little mini banana? No, with a curve? I no, you're right. Okay, it's yeah. gotta be a medium at least size. Yeah, no, nah, I say I gotta disagree with you on that. One. You don't fuck with curves? I fuck with a curve. Sorry, Captain Hook. Me. Okay, but what what direction then? Because <laughs> I'm sure there's That's some dumbass yeah, direction. Right up. It's down. a dick. To, it's a dick yeah. to curve up. <laughs> I don't know. I've that'll be a mean curve to have, though. Nah, curves, that'll be the though. worst curve. Nah, that's the best. a good curve to have. Yeah, because nah. when I'm, you're I'm going a, down, you're because, going to yeah, the G-spot. Yeah, because the G-spot so is up shit. here, so if you got a curve to go Ooh. up, nah, I'm a, you pull it. But nah, let me, okay, let's be. I, I hate to start off every podcast with dick. Hey, man, and cook. Will, yeah. But listen, though. I got an up curve, okay? Not like y'all describe it. up curve. Not like y'all describe it. I don't want y'all to think my dick come out and do one of these things. Nah. That bitch be like, hi. Nah, nah, they don't like a Santa sled. That bitch said okay. up curve. Yeah, now listen, but, 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 I, but my dick do curve up, but it, it's a right sled. It's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the store over there. So that lets me know what hand you jack off with the most. Well... I think it don't matter left or right. He never even thought you about that. Yeah, both ways. Well, no, no, so no. Most men, when their dick curves more to the right, it's because the hand they use and uh, they have that. That motion. could be possible. So if it goes up, uh, that's because they jack going up. Right. Like, but, I mean, I, 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 I don't the know. The but that's why I don't. Was a left but that's why I'm right. not. A, that's why I'm not a from the back kind of guy. I wish I had the down one. That's from the back. If your man got like the down, the dip down, that's from the back action though. <laughs> Y'all don't fuck with it. Let's, let's be transparent. Don't let me be out here by myself. Jack off with your other hand for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, my, mine is cemented. With the way it go, that's where that big go. You know what I'm saying? Jack or Jill, which hand you do? And what hand do I jack off with? Jack or Jill. You know what I... What's the Jack or Jill? Jill. This spells Jill. So if you use this one, you fucking with Jill. Uh, right? 
Yeah, right. Okay. I think right. Who would you? What size jersey? Shit, I don't know unless I'm doing it. Hell, I got to <laughs> imitate it. I got, <laughs> but I think right, though. But yeah, I just, just curious. I wanted to know. <laughs> Enough of that. Welcome back. Back to back pods. How are you? I'm great. You're great. Thank you for driving. I know it's late. Uh, leave it up yeah. to Anxiety Issues Podcast to be late as fuck. I do want to remind you of something, though. Yes. Uh, you said you are you are you you dated a light skinned guy, right? And he was a terrible guy, right? Mm-hmm. And you're normally into dark skinned guys, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. But I want to remind you of something. Remember that a light skinned nigga invited you back, back to back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember that a light skinned nigga thought you was 24 when you were 30. How old? 33. Okay, cool. Remember that a light skinned nigga told you do not let that nigga ruin your future. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? I'm Get out here and find. Re- I'm just telling you, do not let him ruin it for the fair-skinned people. I just want to let you know. Say so you out here doing good deeds. Right, there's some of us making songs. Hit the note for me. How, how I said it in the song there. Hello, how Jolene? I be dreaming. Oh, against the glass, how we did it. Your kids is in me life. In me life. Me lie, me lie, me lie. That's <laughs> right, nigga. Oh, give me lies. Don't let me learn that rap verse. I'm gonna steal your shit, man. Gonna your boy me. gonna be shooting the video. Baby oil everywhere. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be you in the yeah, video. Baby, yo, baby oil <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. Fuck you gonna make me scrap the whole record though, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey man, I'll be singing with you, bro. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I don't let so many people hear what? that song. What's that? That song. Oh, you got it? Yeah, you sent it to me the first night. Oh, man. Yeah, this man, that shit brilliant. Today. And they all got, huh? <laughs> nah, that shit brilliant. Oh, yeah, man, this funny. This, this, this I think that's ball. one of the best songs you've ever made. <laughs> and the verse is incredible. But it's just, it's yeah. just honest and passionate. I got to clean it up and, and do some, uh, you know, give you on type shit to it. But <laughs> speaking of <laughs> R&B singles. Good transition. Bro. Yeah, there was uh, a versus. Uh, I think it was on Marion versus... Uh, M- Mario. No, it was Mario. supposed to be Mario, but they brought everyone. Yeah. No, but it was yeah. a Mario versus uh, Mario, right? Mm-hmm. Initially, if you hear that, pretend that you don't know what happened, who would you say would win that versus? A uh, Mario, Mario. 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 You would think Mario? Just I catalog alone? Yeah, Mario, and, and his catalog ain't that extensive outside of the B2K stuff. What? Nah, he got Icebox two. where my heart used to be. He got like three. Okay. And I'll you got to think honest. Mario. Mario had the, the whole... Get your hair braided, shit. The braid my hair and all that shit. He had a way longer run and better run than Omarion. You know, he had... He had he, but he that's right. it, though. Just a friend. And what's nah. the, no, uh-huh. listen. He had one when he was young. Just a friend. He and got, what's the adult one? Did everybody know? He got... And then he got, um, he got the one about the calendar and the fucking voicemail. What's that shit called? No. Yes. I, what, everybody, what's the song up, that when he grown and everybody like know? What Omarion like, got? He got Icebox. That's all I can remember. I don't exactly. fuck with Mario. Touch, touch. touch. He got Touch. He got the whole B2K calendar. Right, but, but you know Touch count. ain't no versus song. That's a song for him to dance to. It is. You're right. I just... I, dun, dun, dun. Touch. Dun, dun. That's all that is. <laughs> yeah. Nah, what's the one with Janae Aiko, though? But that's that's newer. It's, yeah, that's still um, his song. Supposed to be. Yeah. But it's Chris Breezy on that bitch, too, though. He like it supposed to be. He the booty like gross. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah. I would have thought Omarion would have won. I'm not going to lie. If I had to put my money on somebody, I would have put my money on Omarion. Because you get the dance and the bigger artist. And people, women like him a little more. Right. Well, a lot more. Um, yeah. Not now, though. Omarion huh? fine. That's he just, it over. He just He's ruined that. He's still fine. I don't give a fuck. You not who? That. Omarion? Omarion is fine. His brother is even finer. He Sorry. Is, he okay. He fine me. He, he is okay. Who you like? Who you think is fine? Just famous. I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm getting like a whole new vibe from you today. I think you like, who was your quintessential... Fine nigga. I would have to think about it because 42 I dub. really. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is 42 no. Dub. Mm. I don't really idolize celebrities like that. That man ain't actually. No, that man ask you who you think is handsome. You think tra- yeah. You've seen somebody that you think is fine on a movie or something. I don't know. Uh, or it's no, I'm not. I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that's over. I'm is that over? Is that dead? Yeah, that's is that dead? I, I never dead. was into him. I like uh, I like uh, um, Omar more than him. What's his? Yeah. When I was younger, I used to really like Ti when he did the Ti versus Tip. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Singer wise, Trey Songs was on my list. Where are these dark skinned niggas that you supposedly like? I think you. I think you're in denial. I think you <laughs> like red niggas. No, but I mm-hmm. I like their music, and it's not just that, but it's how they carry it themselves, their right. swag. No, yeah, he's saying who you attracted to, because I said Omarion mm-hmm. fine as fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't care about but what But Omarion's not cute. Okay, so, so who do you think is cute? Tank. Tank was cute to me. Tank always looked 40 to me. 
But it doesn't matter. <laughs> she said that nigga always. That nigga always look the same. Hey, though, he do got a little Morgan Freeman shit. That nigga been looking old forever, so I always felt like it was bad for me to like him. Like he too old, like even his, when he might be my age. He like his, shit. he like his booty. Eh? He but can act, he can actually sing though. Yeah, he yeah, can't he actually can. sing. Neither one, because them that shit there, boy, Definitely. was comedy. He's were you super were you talented, were though. you shocked to see all of these R and B people who could not? fucking sing. No, because I feel like R&B was a movement uh, more so than a... At that time period, it was more so of a whole collectiveness. Like, even the members of TLC, not all of them were actually vocally like well, they could just sing. Like, but they, they would but, fuck they, up. but all of these guys are after TLC. They had a whole okay, pocket. Okay, yeah, so even after... Yeah, I think more so it was, it's because of... Um, when they came out, we were in, we were in the heartthrob era. Yeah. So where it kind of yeah, didn't matter yeah. if you had talent or not, we can kind of just fix you up if you was cute and you could dance. Exactly. We'll write some music for That's you and we'll put some say. shit on your voice. But <laughs> now that we think, now that I think back, I can't remember any moment where I ever said, "Damn, Ray J killed that," see. or "Damn, yeah. Omar Young killed no, that," I never thought or that. "Damn." Um, Pleasure P killed but that. I ex- but I expected yeah. him to sing. I expected yeah. Pleasure P to be able to sing. Yeah. I did expect Jeremiah to be able to sing. Now, I did see that's those the one that shocked me. Like, the rest of them didn't because I re- I've seen Pleasure P. I Pleasure P actually of, wasn't that bad yeah, compared to the rest of them. Maybe they didn't rest their vo- no, vocals. No, I If you can sing, that thing just come on. <laughs> My dog don't have to rest his voice. <laughs> the fuck? He'll, He'll bust some b- right b- now. By them notes you hit, <laughs> I, I need to rest right. mine. I, I, I need to rest nah, mine because I can't sing. <laughs> nah. But when you do but, it, you can do it. Listen, I, I barely. Let's hear something. Let's, let's no. hear a little bit. I, I'm, done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Nah. Uh, Come on, Ray J. I just no, wasn't done. that shocked that they couldn't sing. I never thought that Omarion was like a vocalist. You heard the boy Ray J say, <laughs> My bad for hitting. My bad, I missed that note. I got my baby in my hands. <laughs> what? I get the next for one. Any excuse. That man said, <laughs> blame "My bad son. for missing that note. I my had baby. my baby in my hand." Ray J is just ghetto as fuck. He is just so that ghetto. Nigga's not ghetto, man. man that nigga's that is not ghetto. He man. is definitely that not ghetto. I don't mean that he is from the hood. Man, that I nigga, mean that man, man that is smoke, fucking just. That nigga smoke Newports. That's what the fuck it is. That's ghetto as fuck. That's, That's why that nigga missed that note. New know what? So maybe he could sing at one point, but he could. You can definitely lose that. Like, you know, Mariah, we know that she could hit an octave that no one else could yeah. at some you, point. You, you, she fucked that shit up eventually. Vocal you know what that shit felt like? You know what that shit felt like, that shit felt no, like when I was watching it? The end of the five heartbeats, the barbecue scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the clothes I joined. Man, right? boy. Sure, oh, yeah, man. boy, I said, boy, this shit, wow. Then they were still doing the dance moves yes. back in the day. <laughs> man, did you hit them call? Everybody missed this. Did you hit them call Bobby Valentino? Piano Man. <laughs> no, you know who Piano Man no, is, no, right? I Elton but John, I, I brother. I would have laughed just because. Oh, no. Yes. No, they no, called him no, Piano no, Man, man bro. I don't know who did, but they called him Piano Man, no, bro. Wow, no, no, hold on, show. wait, time out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody on that show called him Piano Man. Piano brother. Man, At bro. At the show? Yes, brother. Do y'all know why they call him Piano Man? Y'all know he was caught in there with them trainers? Yeah. Yep. Brother, somebody said that on the show? They, they said, they said each somebody called the nigga whole piano time. man. They were throwing shade at each other all, all show. Night. And I'm going to tell you who's the bully of the night. I would have died. Pleasure P yeah. is a fucking bully. Yeah. He from Miami, he dog. Bullied them he bullied the whole show. He a, show. He a Florida nigga, bro. Did you see Ray J check Sammy, though? That shit was funny. <laughs> no, nah, I did. The nigga Sammy started singing his song. <laughs> and the nigga Ray J stood. This is the first time he started singing. <laughs> he said, all right, now, nigga, like, don't sing my shit. Yeah. And Sam was like, nigga, I sang your shit better than you. He said, nigga, I said don't t- don't sing my shit. All right, now. I don't fuck wrong with this nigga. You know, you, nigga, I'm from L.A. You know that, right? <laughs> Bro, you from Mississippi. And nigga, what? Sammy came down the stairs, doubt him up, apologize. My bad. My bad, yeah, big man. homie. Yeah, Ray big homie. Big homie. I said, boy, I ain't never seen so many, so many lame sandwiches <laughs> in one place <laughs> in my life, The brother. biggest display of lame niggas. The lamest shit of all times. I... The reason why it's lame, it is a number of reasons why it's lame, but the planning of it is why it's lame. Like, okay, I don't know if y'all ever been around a bunch of niggas while they planning something, right? Yeah. Okay, if there's some cool yeah. niggas in the room, there's somebody to say, bro, hell no, nah, we ain't doing that. There's always somebody yeah. to be like, no. there's a line stepper nigga to be like, hey, bro, we not, that, that's not, we not doing that, right? And he speaks for all of us, right? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. When they plan on bringing the watermelons out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they were perfectly sliced. <laughs> the and prep. people in the audience was eating watermelons too. Watermelon plated in prep, son. Touch. 
Hey, <laughs> saying nail liquor, liquor, brother. What are you doing, and brother? And then Janae, baby daddy, there too, doing it. Like you ain't even out here singing. Brother, what? Who? Like whose idea was that? Where oh, is the Mario. cool man in the room? Just say, bro, you can't bring the watermelon now. What? It's gonna be wild as fuck. I think versus took a loss with this one. Nah, yeah, no, this one no. Was- Listen. That's the best thing that could have ever happened for Versus because we're I talking agree. about it on the podcast. Yeah. I agree too. And, and I want to see another. And when they put this shit together, them niggas who find talent for a living <laughs> knew this was going to be a shit show. Just like when they did Bow Wow and um, Soldier Boy, they well, knew it was going to be a shit show. But that was the beauty in it. Hmm. We know these folks when they come out here and act a plum ass fool. Right. We know that's all people going to be talking about for the whole week. They Versus one. They want to do some more I, shit like I, this. I think they need to start shooting this before and play like trailers. If they had showed right. me this, I would have bought it. Yeah. If I had known this calamity was going to happen, I'd have had they to see got it for myself. myself. The meme that killed me was the one that said, the R&B boys is trying to fight because <laughs> they was throwing shade all night. But them niggas wanted to be cool they want so tussle. bad. Yeah. But it's just that it's an idea of niggas thought like, okay, niggas sit down and be like, how we going to kill them hoes? What yeah. we going to do, dog? This is what blew me. The boy Sammy said, oh, I got one for y'all. I'm finna fuck y'all, <laughs> fuck y'all up. <laughs> Strike one, this one's through the wall. <laughs> Ain't no game like a game of hardball. I'm like, bitch, you was 14 when you made that. Why are you singing hardball at a versus, brother? Like he was finna fuck some a crowd full of 30 year old women over that with hardball, bro. Couldn't have been a dry pussy in the house. Man, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> if, if you had some shit waiting on you, it pulled off. Right, that made a big boy. Ball. What the yeah, fuck yeah, would yeah. you do it? I said, man, these folks are wild as fuck, bro. Nobody on the stage was cool other than Mario. Mario, and yeah. he was let's, never cool, so hey, it was like, but damn. That's the th- but see, that's the thing, though. That's, that's how you know listen, Mario was really cool, probably. Women are go for se- all of those quote-unquote lame niggas. There are women who have followed behind them niggas by the truckloads. You understand yeah. what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's what pisses a lot of real niggas off. Like, y'all be going for that kind of shit. We knew that shit years ago. Nothing that happened on that stage ever surprised a real nigga. Now, Mario is not even a cool nigga. But he was just, I'm comfortable just in my skin. Right, right. I'm and just Mario. Right. And that's good enough, though. We tell niggas all the time, but bro, you don't got to be cool. You don't got to be, sh- just be you. He was up there with his semi-decent body. What you, what you? I was doing it there. I was doing it. The hardball? No, the Dan Ray J was doing Oh, that's Man, listen. That nigga had me. I said, man, what the fuck is this man that doing, bro? That don't even go to one wish. It's one. Motherfucker said, Ray J need a couple more wishes. <laughs> well, he need more than one, don't I? He's talking about to the baby, it's boring. <laughs> nah, I'd have poured, poured the rain on him, though. They should have. That's all they missed. That's the thing we have saved him. I'd have cried. And then he pulled his baby into it. I said, man, the man, man using the baby as a shield. He knew exactly why he was grabbing that fucking baby. This ain't going to be good. Yeah, because you can't, you can't talk shit about a man holding the baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you shit. can. Shit, we doing it now. He found out we can, but he didn't think we could. Like, bro, thought, oh, they gonna that like, goddamn oh, kid. Get that day. kid out the line of fire. Talking about I was holding my baby. My bad about that note. Oh, I ain't mean. never heard a motherfucker apologize to the person playing their music for missing the note. My bad, my bad, I got you next time. What the It's like man. a drunk uncle that be drinking, still drinking. For all, them, all of them was drunk uncles. They was drunk uncles, the ones with the real wet beer lips. Bobby, Bobby Valentino, Bobby Valentino, Bobby Valentino, Valentino was the worst, man. He was the worst, brother. And he was just up there looking like he had a training waiting on him at the crib. <laughs> well, Bobby, got, Bobby got hits, though. Huh? As much as we clown Bobby. Bobby he do, he got, he got more hits than both of them. And he can actually sing, though. Yeah. Bobby. yeah. He can sing. He can sing better than a lot of them. If we, if I had to, if I had to put them boys in line, you got Mario, Mario Tank. You got no, even Tank, though he wasn't on the yeah, show. Up Tank first. He, Tank in there. he first. was singing. But it's Mario, and then Pleasure P can sing a little bit, and Bobby Valentino, and Sammy and can Jeremiah. sing a little bit. Jeremiah ain't got it. Yeah. Ray J damn Boy, sure ain't got it. Jeremiah. Ray J ain't even in, in the ballpark. And yeah, no, Omarion ain't got it. Like no. that shit. That shit was just wild, bro. I was just like, damn, this shit is a circus, bro. I couldn't look away though. Well enough for, this, for the fucking. Like the he want he, he want to be grown so bad. He grew a whole beard, some dreads, and everything. And he still, I still don't take him serious. Yeah, when you when you peak early, that's yeah, just what bro. it is, bro. That's who you are. But enough with verses. That's just something I wanted to mention because the world was mentioning how much calamity that was. But I want to welcome everybody to the Anxiety Issues Podcast. I'm Adam Twelve Taylor. I think I'm tipsy early. I don't know. If, uh, like I feel that shot we took. Not I you. Don't feel it. 
both of mine. You don't feel nothing? Take another one for well, let's pour, let's pour you another one then. Shit, you ain't got to do nothing but drive an hour home. We ain't got All right. Here with my brother, Dang Boneface of Boneface Inc. and the talented hairstylist, Tania Greedy Monroe. And uh, welcome back for the second time. Give me your name one more time because I know I'm going to fuck it up. Lala. Lala. Let's I want to say simple. Lolo so bad. Why Lolo? I don't know. You just kind of remind me of a Lolo. Lolo is a sexy name, but Lala's cool too. It's just. Is that what Nipsey's wife is named, Lala? Her name is Lala, Lala, too. I'm drunk. It's Lauren London. Oh. Yeah, and I know. he called her Lo. I ain't going to say what I want to say. She right Lala. Now. She was Lala in ATL. Yeah, yeah, that's what she I She was definitely I ain't gonna say Lala, Lala like in ATL. Okay, on a serious note. Okay, cool. Serious debate. There's a post that's going viral about a young lady who was filming her baby daddy at the door with a bag of Burger King, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now, the issue that's in this viral video that my brother sent me, Bone sent me this video, but uh, I think everybody's seen it by now. She is complaining that this gentleman shows up all the time with just food for his child and not her other three children. Okay? Mixed emotions in the comments. Mixed emotions about the vibes between baby mamas and baby daddies. Okay? Now, a lot of us in this situation, me included, I have a child with somebody who has three other kids by another gentleman, right? So this is not a, 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 a um, this is this isn't uncommon, right? How do y'all feel in general about a man showing up with one kid's thing, like his kid, his biological kid, and not showing up for the other kids? Now, this includes Christmas, birthdays, holiday. You get what I'm saying? This goes a long way. Up, so I don't want to because. She made it so basic and simple, like, oh, you ain't going to feed my kids. That's that's dumb. But this is a quite frequent thing on holidays, <laughs> Christmases, birthdays, shit like that. So how do y'all feel? So it's, it's, it's three parts to this, okay? Well, give me all three. Okay. So um, if he was around those kids when her and him were together, then I would feel like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You used to fuck with my kids. Like, so oh, they know already. you. Yeah. So it's different. They would be like, y'all break up and these kids see you come and he just like, what's up? And give stuff only to one kid. Those kids feel that because they've been around you. <laughs> now, two, of course, if he was a baby daddy that's never been around my kids, then I feel like he only is entitled to do something for his child. And I can't feel no type of way about that because those aren't his kids. Mm-hmm. Then being coming from, a, um, you know, where I had other siblings that have different dads, I wasn't the one on the outside where, um, like, I saw my siblings' dad bringing stuff. I was the opposite. My I had my goddad and my dad that would send stuff, and I remember how it made other siblings feel. You know what I'm saying? So from the kid point, I remember that it was just like, damn, you know, like, I feel bad, but I'm really, this is okay for me to accept this at the same time, you know? Um, I remember my dad would kind of send extra and stuff, and my brother would feel like, what the fuck, he got, that's less for me, shit, like, this ain't even y'all daddy, so it's like, so many parts to it, I feel like it just depends on the situation. It's one part, he was not wrong, she was. The way the video started is what bothered me, because she was recording before this man even pulled Pulled up. up, so she chose to start some bullshit Pick a Before, narrative. Yeah. yeah, she was trying to degrade his character from the very beginning. So that's what got to me, the fact that she was already recording. The man hadn't even pulled up in his car, hadn't even gotten out of his car. And for him to get out of his car and say, what are you recording for? Mm-hmm. Because that let me know he's brought food for his child before. Facts. But now you want to cause a scene and record it and show me to the world like I'm being a deadbeat dad and you're not because technically I don't care what happened before even if he was around the other kids his obligation is his child Mm -hmm. regardless of everything else that's going on his obligation is his one child now in one part of the video he did say hey well let my son come outside and eat yeah and she said no so at that point lady you made yourself look like a jackass because this man has not, you don't know his financial situation. You don't know if he had money to feed the other kids. He could have borrowed the money to get that one meal to feed his child. You don't know the outside surrounding factors to try to say, oh, he a deadbeat because of him bringing food for his child. Now, in a situation like that, if he wouldn't have brought the food, then America still would have been on his back. Like, I feel like we don't give our black men enough credit for the what they are trying to do. 
Instead, we look for ways to continue to degrade them and demasculinate them, even over the smallest little thing. And it's the man that actually wants to do something for his kid. Mm-hmm. They're not looking at, oh, this man really trying to feed his son. It's nah. He should have brought some thought. Like that ain't his responsibility. Now I'm gonna tell you, me, if I fall out with anybody, and let's say in like in his situation. I lose custody of my kids or something like that, and he go get remarried or whatever the case is, I ain't bringing food for nobody but mine. So we can't look at it because he's a man and we're women. It's no right is right and wrong is wrong. Yeah, I would definitely bring food for dead for all of them. my kids. Yeah. I, no, I'm bringing it for my one kid, this one mine, okay, I'm feeding mine. Yeah. Right. Now, being a kid who had to, like, stay in my friends' houses and be taken in by people, like, mm-mm, like, right now, you know, right now I'm kind of having a situation like that. His kid staying with me. His mom died, so I don't care. He can stay as long as he wants to. It don't matter to me. You told me you had a personal situation that reminded you of this situation, right? So does this give you a different perspective on the whole daddy bringing food for? Yeah, I, um, <clears throat> it was ten of us, and we all had most of us had different daddies. And a lot of the times my dad wouldn't be around, but my sister had the only active daddy at the time that would come around and bring shit. So he would bring her certain shit. And so this is my, my issue was this is that um, what it does for the children is that if I'm in a situation where I'm watching my, do- my sister get shit and I'm not getting none of her dad is bringing, I have resentment towards her now. So that's creating the issue amongst the kids. So that's why so I think. As a child, you're saying you had resentment towards your sister. sister. Because she got things that we didn't get. Her dad came around and mine didn't. You feel me? So that created some type of rift within me. You feel me? Right. That kind of It, it kind of threw me off a little bit. But <clears throat> that's why I, my take on it is this. Is that um, is he wrong for only bringing this child food? No. And I think um, if I was in that situation, my relationship on with the mom and how she treated me would determine on how much I do. Uh, in a lot of cases too, mm-hmm. you right. feel me? So if you treating me shitty, of course I'm not feeding your other kids. It's not my responsibility. Right. But if I fuck with you like that, and I fuck with them kids like that, I'll do that. But the the proper thing to do, in my opinion, would have been this: if you're in that situation, even as a father, if I'm bringing, if I'm bringing um, food for my kid, I'm thinking about these other kids. Even if I don't buy them nothing, I'm taking them into consideration right. and their emotions and their feelings into cons- consideration. So before I even call pull up, I'm hitting their mom like, hey. I'm going to bring little man some food. I, I know you got them other kids there, and I don't want him eating in their face. Like, send him out. He can sit in the car and eat with me or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. I don't want to I don't want to fluster the other kids and make them feel less than <laughs> because I'm not bringing it. anything for them. So it's just that shit starts with the adults. Um, your your kids should never know. My, if, if I never known what my sister's dad did for her, I wouldn't have a problem. Right. There wouldn't be no resentment in the house. Right. She got some new shit. I don't know where it came from. You know what I'm saying? So it was like there's a way to do that. Like, but luckily, um, in in most case, like in most cases, when he did bring us something, he'd do a little something for us, unless it was something major. You feel what I'm saying? And then we wouldn't get shit. But I just think it's on the parents to kind of like kind of filter, like keep the kids away from that shit. But let me push the envelope a little bit, okay? Because I've had a similar situation, right? Uh, let's say I can afford more than your other kid's father can afford, right? Let's say I have a son by a female, right? Mm-hmm. And I I want to buy my son Jordans. I want to buy mm-hmm. my son name brand coats and shirts and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. But I know damn well his bro- his siblings cannot afford these things. Do I not buy these for no, my you, kid? You, no, you do your thing. But see, like, that, that kind of, that's, that's different. Yeah. I think that's different because... Um, but that has to breed resentment more than anything because even in schools, that breeds resentment. But, as a, kid has, but as a child, it's easier to understand, right? Because just like children have brains too. Yeah. So when McDonald's come, I understand, nigga, you could have got me some McDonald's too. But if it's a situation... How do they understand? Maybe what if I cannot uh, get them McDonald's? But that's what they feel. But what I'm yeah. saying is that the expectations are different. If my sister got some Jordans, I understand that some new shoes is not just something to eat. You feel what I'm saying? I think that's more. Yeah. So for me, more... so, so for me, that's why when I said when he didn't bring us things, it was usually bigger shit that he couldn't get for so... everybody. And it's like I understood that because that's not my daddy. I'm old enough to know that. I'm like seven or eight at the time. I'm, I'm old enough right. to know this ain't my pops, and, he, and he's not. And he right. doesn't have to do that. And I guess my mom kind of made that clear to us, too. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That was something that she explained is that, hey, your dad, this her dad, and what he does for her is whatever. You feel me? It still made me feel some type of way, but it was different when it was something small. Right. You feel it me? Did. Like, I looked at it different when it was something small because I'm like, damn, that's something small. You could have done it, too. Even if you couldn't have, 
I feel like you could have, because to me as a child, that's something small. Okay. Both of you guys have children, right? Right. Explain it to me as a woman. How do you get that across to your other kids? If this is your situation, and listen, one father shows up with an extravagant gift or an expensive pair of shoes mm -hmm. or whatever, as a mother, as a woman, how do you explain this to the other children why they do not have said gift or toy? You can or, go first if you want. Um, depending on the age of the kids, I feel mm -hmm. like some things are better left unsaid. Like, my four-year-old son would not be like, oh, she got new shoes because he doesn't care. Okay. But for ten, my, 10 or 12. But Yeah, but 10 or 12, um, I sit down and have conversations with my kids all the mm -hmm. time. Like, I talk to them as if they're adults because like, this is real life. And the only way to prep them for real life is to have real conversations with them. So um, you just have to hit them with the truth. I don't understand why. Um, your dad is coming, like never paint their dad to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I put it in a position to where they can remain optimistic until they grow old enough to see from the cell. Oh, my daddy ain't shit. But I'll never tell them your daddy doesn't love you. He doesn't care. And then anything I can do to fill in the gap. So it, my thing is if dad brought McDonald's for one, whoever's dad that is, then, okay, let me see what I can do to get McDonald's for the other ones. Mm -hmm. Not stand outside of a window recording before the man even pull up. Right, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and in that situation, that's why I say communication is key and having an adult relationship is key because you can right. tell him, hey, before you go buy that boy McDonald's or some shit like that, let me know because I need, she, to be, I need to be able to get that for the other kids. Uh -huh. And if I can't get that for the other kids, like let's figure out a right. way for you to get that shit to him without them seeing it. It was like she was anticipating it though because yeah. she wanted she, to smoke. She yeah, wanted, yeah, she wanted to stir video. that up. Clearly, yeah. she yeah. wanted she to better. stir it up. Do you um, have an explanation for how you tell your other kids so, why they don't have? Okay, so what I was gonna say too was kind of like how we grew up with so like I think you grew up the same way with so many siblings. The way he's saying like, oh, as a kid, I knew that that was a smaller thing than shoes. When you grow up the way we grew up, you do know that shit. I remember knowing that shit. Like, I mm. remember it was the Nikes with the air spell big. Mm -hmm. I wanted them so bad, right? My god daddy got them for me. My Pippen. brother wanted them Pippen. bad Pippen. as Pippen. fuck. Yeah. No one got them for him, right? Mm -hmm. I under like I understood, like, fuck, I can't take these home. Like, I'm going to leave them at my daddy house and only wear them when I go there. Because I know my brother wants them so bad, but I know ain't nobody finna buy them for him because they're expensive. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I knew he was a little younger than me. But he was so smart, he understood it too. He's like, I know he bought you the shoes. You can wear them. You can bring them home. Like, if I can fit them, can I wear them? And I'm like, yeah, we'll do that. We can share. Like, but you, you, it's survival mode type of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I didn't want my kids to lack by me being an, uh, a very active parent. I let some shit happen, and I let my kids have to figure it the fuck out. Like, they come to me and ask me. I want to see what they're going to think about it. And when they ask me kids questions. Kids are more resilient than we think. Yeah, Absolutely. I let them. I, I like to figure out, like, well, how the fuck are you going to handle this if I'm not here? Like, if I fall the fuck out, which one of y'all is going to be the one that knows to call and do all this stuff, right? It happens all the time. The other day, it was my it was my Gemini baby's birthday. My little Aquarius baby's three. She's mad. She's in the video like. It's not her birthday, and she want to blow out the candles and all that shit. And I had to literally tell her, just because you want it to be your birthday, it's not your birthday. You do not get everything you want. Today, her sucker was shaped weird. She wanted my seven-year-old to trade with her. And she said, well, I'm the baby. I said, oh, hell no. If you, I don't care what you do. Don't give it to her. Like, you, you kind of have to let them know. This stuff is real. So it's like... Everything's not going to be equal anyway. It's not. And that's what I, I tell my kids all the time. Like, just... I hate when they say, it's not fair. I'm like, what does that even mean? Just because someone else got something right. that you didn't get, that has no equate to fairness. As a baby daddy, what I will say is, fuck them kids. Listen to what I'm telling All my kids got the same daddy, though. So it's really yeah, hard for me to... Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm just saying in general, as a person, fuck your other kids. I don't know how else to tell you that. Not literally. Like I wouldn't not I wouldn't say that to the children. They're just innocent kids. They have nothing to do. But to your grown ass, fuck your other kids. You understand what I'm saying? My kid lived in Orlando and, and and my child's mother reached out to me with a similar thing. Like I would take my kid home. I used to have to drive to Orlando to see my daughter, right? And she would be like, Hey, can you stop taking her to these theme parks and all of this shit? Because she thinks that's regular life. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> we cannot afford to go to Disney. And blah, blah, blah. Man, fuck you. Exactly. Right. When I get down here, I'm going to take my kid to where my money allows me to take my kid to. Mm -hmm. Now, 
The reason why I have a problem with it is because the I feel like her anger does not come from that man supporting his kids. That anger comes from not knowing how to explain to my kids why the rest of y'all can't have this shit. It's my fault. Mm-hmm. I fuck men who wasn't who are who aren't good and enough dads. He's a good dad. Right. I'm take it out on exactly because Burger King ain't some expensive. He didn't At show up with some wild ass gift. Right. I got pregnant by a bunch of men who don't want to handle their responsibilities. It's really mama's fault. Why y'all can't have this Burger King? And now you putting that pressure on me to explain to my kids because I want to be pristine ass mama. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying to my children. That's all that was. Accountability. So, accountability. So I do understand. Like I'm the type of person if I have extra and I have excess and I'm doing well, I will do for your other kids because that that's my child's siblings. You get what I'm saying? Right. But it's like you can't just automatically right. assume and then get mad and say I'm a bad person you, if I don't. You can't. But right. that, that that happens in life. Like my kid goes home with Apple watches and iPhones yeah. and all that kind of stuff and the other kids don't have that. If you want to set some kind of rule where she can't bring some of her stuff, I, that's cool. I don't want to cause no problem in your household. But you're not going to tell me what I can and can't do for my kid. This is what I can afford. This is how I want to raise them. Fuck your other kids. If you couldn't <laughs> if you couldn't afford to do it, you shouldn't have laid down and had them with the mother niggas. That's just how I feel. Since we on children, how do you feel about um cuz we got this like the 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 way I was parented was old school. You feel me? Like ass whoopings got it the way. But now we have this new um way of parenting is to where we let the children decide everything their gender what they want to eat what they want to put on where they want to go all of this shit like how do you feel about free-flowing parenting versus traditional parenting that's a slippery slope I uh no idea. that's why i asked yeah because slide down both oh man i got you <laughs> uh both both sides are equally as wrong in my opinion I think old school parenting is wrong, and I think this new let your kid do whatever they want to do is wrong. Okay, Uh, there's always a happy medium that I feel. You know, I I feel like ration always lies in the middle. Okay, Uh, back when my mama was growing up, old country, you know, that southern type mentality, kids didn't have a say so, speak when spoken to, do as I told. You know, kids that'd be seen, not heard, that type of mentality, right? And when my mother went to raise me, she regurgitated those things, right? Mm-hmm. I was raised under those same things, and I resented her for it. I hated my mother till I was about maybe 17 to 18, and then I started to appreciate what she actually was to me and what she did for me, right? Now that I'm raising my little girl, okay, I always remember where I was at that age. Yep. Now that she's 15 and 16, I remember where I was at those stages. Your opinion does matter at 15 and 16. You cannot fight all, you cannot control everything. You cannot fight all the battles. I have to understand she's exactly where I was when I was at six, when I was 16. The world is different to them. The things that they're into is different than things that I understand. And I have to be willing to understand or she will push me at bay like I did my mother. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Cool. So that whole you don't get a say so, shut up, spankings, whoopings, all that shit, I feel like that's wrong as well. But I also, I mean, I'm not going to let you just have it your way. I am the fucking parent. You will respect me. Some of that old school shit is necessary. Mm -hmm. But I do listen. I do understand. I do want your opinion. It's your life. Give me your input on what you want to do, how you want to dress, how you want your hair. Give me your input. We might not necessarily do it your way, but I do respect your input. I do respect your thoughts. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think it's a medium. You you talk about overcorrection all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we do. Like you say, I don't agree with old school parenting, and I definitely don't agree with this new shit. Um, You are a parent for a reason, and your child is a child for a reason. Your child only has a certain level of experience. So you, as an adult, are there to guide them. You're not there to control them, but to guide them. And a two-year-old shouldn't be deciding certain shit. A three-year-old shouldn't be deciding certain shit. You don't have to control somebody's life when you're guiding them. You feel me? You should allow your children to grow and blossom and be whatever the fuck they choose to be. Talking about transgender babies? Well, if that's what you choose to be. You feel me? But my (laughs) thing is, I understand that three years old, you don't don't know that. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like there's certain things I'm not going to leave to the discretion of my child. You feel me? Like, I I might not, I'm not going to make you play football or basketball or no shit like that, but I'm going to make you do something. You feel me? I'm going to point you in some direction. Whatever, whatever, I'm going to let you choose what you do, but once you choose it, motherfucker, you're going to work hard at it. That's not an option. You feel what I'm saying? Because what we do is 
we let these children do whatever they want to do, and then they bump into the the real to reality and understand that we live in a place to where you don't get to do what the fuck you want to do. You feel what I'm saying? I want to raise free thinkers, but I want to raise free thinkers that understand the environment that they're in. Right. You feel me? Because there are general life concepts that are necessary that you no matter have to what have. you pick. Hard work, dedication, so, commitment, all of those things are, ne- are all necessary. All, all are necessary, and what we're doing is we're stripping of that, stripping them of that. When you raise children without any boundaries, you raise entitled motherfuckers. Yep. You feel me? Who aren't who don't want to put in any work or dedicate you don't have any you you not you don't have any moral values. You don't have anything you're not bait you don't have a good foundation. So you out here in the world just playing victim to everything because mm-hmm. in my house I let you be free. Um I talked about the Will Smith book and he had a story where he was talking about um his whole his whole life he's been like kinda militant like in how he did things he was dedicated and driven right so when his son did his first movie the karate kid i mean the pursuit of happiness was the happiness was the first one right. and he pushed him and he pushed him and he pushed him right yeah and he said that um it kind of built the resentment in his son right so they did after earth together right and he said he switched he flipped the whole flipped the whole flipped the switch did it completely different Total opposite of what he did the first movie. He had video games for him, tents. He made sure he was comfortable. Movie came out horrible. You feel me? The world bashed his son for the movie. Now his son resents him because he didn't properly prepare him for the movie. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So my point when by saying that story is that with children, you're going to have resentment either way. I tell my homies this all the time. I say, bro, you can be there every day with your kid and you can raise them. You can wake them up in the morning. You can take them to school. You can never miss a basketball game. But in the process of doing that, you probably can't do what you need to do financially. And they're going to resent you for that. Or you can be somebody that's always out chasing the bag, always buying them shit and always putting in work and giving them what they need. But they're lacking your time and attention now. They're going to resent you for that. You feel me? So it's like you have to choose what you want your child to resent you for. My 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 theory is this. If you're winning at life and everything I installed in you caused you to win at life and you resent me at the end of the day, I'm okay because you win. Right. I would much rather you be in a position where you have life skills and you can move forward and you can break generational curses versus being somebody that I made happy. You feel me? And you ain't got no fucking skills. Right. And I can't leave nothing to you because you're not responsible. You feel me? So it's that's why balance is important. And balance don't always work, but you still got to be balanced. You feel me? But it's like it's a dice roll ra- raising kids. You can do everything you feel is right and still be wrong. And the, the sad mm-hmm. part about a lot of us is when we have kids, um, it's our first one. We don't know how to do this shit. We're figuring this shit out as we go. And by the time we figure it out, guess what? They 16, 17, 18, and on their way out. So if you don't have multiple kids, your first child is probably fucked up a little bit. Very much You feel so. me? It's just like you get better at this shit. And if you only got one, you feel me? You do the best with the shot you got and just try not to repeat the things right. that, that led you to where you are. You feel what I'm saying? If, especially if you, look in the, if you can look in the mirror and don't know and don't like where you are. You feel me? You might want to change the way you do shit. You feel me? The same thing I tell my kids, there's no rule book to parenting. You take experiences from your childhood and try to alter them to perfect those skills. One of the biggest things, I was just telling somebody this before I came up here, um, a lot of men especially, we raise our sons to say, don't cry or stop snitching, not realizing how we are molding them to stay quiet when they should be speaking out on certain things. Um, that nigga don't need if, to snitch though. But go ahead. No, I'm saying like as a child though. <laughs> as a child, <laughs> don't we, listen to your mama. We already are. <laughs> no, 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 what your no. mama said. I'm saying like on the more important stuff. For example, mm. you constantly quit tattling on your sister. Quit snitching. Quit snitching. But then when mama best friend auntie Lolo or whoever touch him and oh, he's molested at nine, yeah. he's not opening his mouth because I was always told not to snitch. So I just used I just or, used explanations like I like to use old traditions and explain them further so like a lot of that old shit made sense if it was explained further instead of you know there was no explaining right so that's what with, yeah. with my kids instead like I do tell them if your little sister is doing some shit that you know is crazy like pouring syrup on the table come fucking tell me come tell me but don't go snitching on your homeboys if you did some stuff with them like I, I'll explain when it's okay to tell like 
No, I don't want you and your sisters to tell on each other if things are, you know. But back in the day, there was no differentiation. Now, now y'all, now y'all are confusing the babies. Do I snitch or do I not? Do I snitch? No, yeah. no, they, they know. They'll My say. My thing is, I would rather you tell me everything than tell me nothing. As I, me having okay daughters, but think about when you was little. You ain't gonna tell nobody uh, everything. Oh, that was the most five. That was the most five, bro. I, high five, real quick. I don't even, you don't even know what you're getting it for. That was the smoothest cutoff. I ever seen her do in the history of the show, <laughs> but for the first time on her, like when she cut, right? I said, "Boy, that's that was a professional cut off, bro." <laughs> Boy, you found a spot. Yeah, you do I it said, every, "God you, damn!" You do it every week. You got to figure it out sooner or later. Boy, bro. that was smooth. Nah, Boy, man, I said, "God damn!" Cut me off like that. Don't encourage her though. I want her to cut me off like that one time. I ain't never got that smooth of a cut off. Oh, she found a pocket in that motherfucker. Did, I said, ooh, I ain't even see that one. She was waiting on it the whole time, though. Shit. I'll be over there watching it, though. Like, I know you waiting. Boy, she came up under the microphone, too, and, and slid right up in front of that bitch. I said, God, damn, that was smooth. Boys and girls are different. Don't teach my my little girl. Boy, tell me everything. Are, boys my boys and little boys girls aren't. I don't know that shit. Like, boys I'll be hot. My, my little boy keep telling me shit. Like, bro, what's wrong with you, little nigga? Why the <laughs> fuck do you keep telling me what everybody's doing in the household? I have three older daughters and my son is my baby. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot different and his sisters bully the fuck out that's of cool, see, but my that's son straight, is 10. That's straight, it's a though. whole different thing. No, my son be, is 10. At least he'll be good. That's and then cool. I got a seven and three year old girls yeah. and they run because that shit. That ain't gonna still. last forever though. Like that yeah. nigga gonna hit but that nigga gonna get like a little chest muscle one day and that shit gonna be over. He grabbed one of them up quick. Like right. my seven year old be talking about she got a boyfriend. He go take that shit over quick. Yeah. I don't got to say a you, word. You got to tell him that you can't push your sisters one day. Like, hey, bro, you, hey, it's too big now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that I will say on. that's probably a weird thing that I do that I remember when I was younger. I remember, um, like me and my brothers would fight. Yeah, but that made me know not to hit no man. So like sometimes when my my daughter be doing wild stuff to my, my son, I'll tell him to like grab her to let her see. She, don't she needs so to stop. Glad. So glad I ain't got no daughter, bro. She'll be stripping at twelve with my karma. Nah, but she'll be a, she'll be at Cheetos right gotta, now. Don't say that. Nah, you just got to give her the game, that. bro. Man, I love. She, it. Ain't nothing better being a girl. I will. I will let me. Listen, man, daughters you, break y'all down. Little boys them. don't, but daughters I'm daughters prick y'all heart different. Like dating somebody I'm, and falling in love with a woman is different from having your own daughter. I, I, but I, it, it's the reason why I love women better, like grown women. Exactly. Because I, I understand that everyone is someone's daughter, especially like, when you got to. Help raise her and prune her for mm. well, the real world is different, completely different. Yeah, I don't have I don't have a daughter. I have a bunch of sisters, so I can only imagine. I can't even imagine how it would feel to have a daughter the way I felt about my sisters growing up. Well, that shit so to have my own, I already know that should make you cry just yeah, any I, any little thing. Though. My I, daughter say anything, I'd be, I'd be a like, weak yeah, 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 yeah what you said exactly. Aww. You hold me in the H A. I come here. I come. Yeah, I ain't whooping no ass. Home, I ain't listen. yelling. I ain't doing but nothing. But that's the thing. Yeah. Mothers are harder on their daughters, and my son is my baby. Like mm -hmm. I spoiled the fuck out of my son. I hate that for young boys, though. Right. But why y'all get? But why y'all get mad? Why y'all get mad at grown men for shit y'all allow y'all son to do? That's what bothers me though. A woman to get mad at a, a her man for something she won't say nothing to her son about. When your son, you sat there and watched it. Yeah, when your son old enough to date and he be bucking, you see your son bucking. You don't say nothing to him. Four, I'm just saying when your son, nah, when one son day your son will be 18, be 19, and I have to 20, and you won't say nothing about that shit. Come here, boy. I, I got your favorite fool. You know he out here fucking as many holes as possible. I think I would, but Nathan, I can't say Nathan. yet because he's not at that age. You gonna feel sorry for the girls he bring over. They gonna be like, I love your I son. Don't have to you gonna, you gonna be like, shit. good luck, girl. I don't have to say anything. That's what his sisters are for. Mm -hmm. They done already said it. Like, nah. Okay, cool. Enough filler. What we all here to talk about. So irresponsible. You got another shot? I didn't already took all of mine. Okay, let's pour another one before we do this topic then. Because uh, this is how irresponsible our show Jeez. is. <laughs> See, get, get roasted to talk about right some serious I took this one. I'm about to take this one, yeah. We are going to talk about something extremely serious. I'll let you pour your own poison. Joe Rogan versus Dwayne Wade. <laughs> Funny. You want one uh, I think I smooth criminal? I well, she slipped in there, mm -mm. boy. She did, though. <laughs> And another thing, girl, why are you well, fucking there? How you get like in that? there like that? I do color. I oh, just did a whole bunch of color oh, today. Like and that. it's all, I didn't get my nails done recently because I had some stuff to do and I couldn't have no yeah. nails. And now I look like a 12-year-old. He pointed it out. I, I already you, felt. I thought you'd be on the highway. You ever realize <laughs> that? Do you ever realize that we are our parents now, bro? 
No, I'm not my parents. I yes, you are, bro. No, I'm not my parents. You don't think you are. She ain't think no. your, your I'm, parents I'm, ain't think they was their I'm parents. nothing. Now, listen, I am my, I, I moved to the beat of my own I drum, know. but I do realize that I'm old now because I remember thinking about when my dad was my age. Like, this nigga old as fuck. And I look at myself now and I still think I'm young in my and mind. You're not. That's why I say I'm not. Or not, you mimic certain attributes from your parents. Uh, Only thing I got from my parents, Uh, one thing like I got from my dad, in relationships, I don't like drama. I'm always the, like, all right, for you got it. Like, my dad just kind of whatever. No, right? even in raising your daughter, like, there are certain things you pattern behind. I, oh, I can agree with that. Yeah. I, got it. I had a good dad. So That's I, what I'm, he's saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, to your daughter, bro, yeah, you I look just that. like your parents look to you. I think I'm a cool. I think yo, I'm. A, yo, my parents thought they was cool too. Nah, I really cool. think my daughter. Listen, my <laughs> listen, listen to me though. My daughter will tell you like you ain't like the rest of the dads at the school. Like when, when I go to parent teacher meetings, like you know, dads coming there looking like dads. I come in there with my Jodeci boots on and my shorts, my <laughs> hat backwards. But guess what though, bro? I can remember a cool dad from when I was right. little too. But guess what? Like, he was away. still one of them. This, this how I know I ain't like the other daddies, folks. I, I took my daughter to the skating ring one day, right, and then we'd get off. Our own personal stories. I took my daughter to the skating ring one day, right? And her little friend hugged me, and she was like, mm? I was like, little bitch, you oh. better go ahead now. <laughs> go ahead. I know what that means. My daughter ain't paying no attention because she ain't there yet. But go on here, though. Finna get your ass case up. <laughs> go on, get from around me now. I know what that means. What you wearing, little bitch? Boy, get back. Go on here. <laughs> That bitch gone here now. <laughs> Show your mouth. Yeah. What did you talk about? Yeah. Get. Go, on, go on get your skates. Go on get up out of here. <laughs> this ain't that. Now when my daughter get to college, good luck. Because I'm with all the dumb shit. I'm fist off for her at that point. Hey, get One of your college up. friends ain't, uh, what you talking about, man? What you, what <laughs> what you why trying your to do? Still on campus? What? I got I got two book money. I got my daughter books and yours. <laughs> what class is you in? I hate okay, you. Cool. <clears throat> Roe versus Wade. Irresponsible, so we'll cheers before we start. Oh, cheers to Nia. How irresponsible is this? You know, we'll take a shot when mm. we talk about women's rights. Well, mm -hmm. might as well. Coochies mm. are free. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Little backstory, and I will immediately throw this to women. For you, uh, If you don't know, there's, uh, well, you should know, hell, there's a big controversy going on. It's called Roe versus Wade. Just recently, the Supreme Court overturned their initial ruling on Roe versus Wade. If you don't know what it is, Jane Roe, a.k.a. I think her name is Norma McCorvey. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay, cool. In 1969, she was about 21, 22 years old. She was from Texas, and she was pregnant with her third child. She wanted to have an abortion, but in Texas, abortions were illegal. So she decided to sue then-district attorney Henry Wade mm -hmm. for the right to have an abortion. This shit went all the way to Supreme Court. Keep in mind, she was pregnant in 1969. The ruling did not come down until 1973. So that child was born. She gave it up for adoption. Right. She ended up giving it up for adoption. That child was born before the ruling ever came down, okay? So the ruling was in 1973 that it was constitutional for a woman to have the right to an abortion, okay? A lot of states disagree with that. It's been an argument ever since, okay? So that's just a little backstory in case you didn't know what Roe versus Wade what was. Now that ruling was fifty some years ago, just sometime last week or sometime earlier this week, it was now overturned. It is not constitutional now for a woman to have the right to an abortion. So that means that it is each individual state option to offer abortion to women upon their discretion, upon their beliefs, their political affiliations. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's just backstory. I want to know in general, and we'll break this down in the topic, so we don't want to go into why we think it happened or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just in general, when you heard that it was overturned, is there any gut reaction that you have to women no longer having constitutional rights to an abortion? I feel like it definitely um, takes away our rights. It takes away the power we have over our own bodies. God forbid a woman gets raped and gets pregnant by her rapist and you're telling me I'm forced to keep a child. And that's a very low percentage of something like that happening, but it's still something that can happen. Right. Or if you take a woman who is not ready to be a parent, now you're sending these kids into a system, foster care or whatever the case is, and they're still not being parented. And so the government has a funny way of trying to minimize the population but now you're saying that women don't have a right to abort. So I'm I'm kind of torn between it. Like, I, I'm a firm believer everybody is not a mother. 
every woman that births a child is not a mother. I can agree with that. But now you're saying every woman is forced to be a mother, even if they choose not to parent. Right. And so I, I disagree with the overturn. I, I disagree strongly. But women never really have rights anyway. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I wrote y'all when I first read it. Oh, my God. <laughs> they overturned the decision. Like, it may, I honestly wanted to cry. No lie. But, I mean, I couldn't cry, but I just wanted to cry because I felt like, what a day to be a woman. You can't even say you don't want to have a child. You can't even say you don't want to push this thing out of your cervix. You don't want your body to change. You can't even say that. Like, why do you get the right to tell me that? So men can still have vasectomies, but... We can't have abortions. That's absolutely wild to me. Is it illegal for y'all to get y'all tubes tied? I mean, it is, well, you can only do it after, after two. two. After two and over they 25. Limit. They exactly. already limit, They already limit that. Okay. Um, and so, then if your husband doesn't sign, you can't get it. So I wasn't able to. So you can't just go get your two stuff. No, no, you can't. I, I they won't allow it. Men have the power of attorney over our bodies until we reach a certain age. Yeah. So once we turn 25, then if we want them tied, we can get them tied. But that does not mean we can't get pregnant. You can still get pregnant with your two yes. tied. A whole bunch. <laughs> and can. then if you want a hysterectomy, you have to have so many births out of the way and be a certain age unless it's a health risk. Yep. You can't even have you your, can't even have a hysterectomy. Removed. And then here's the even crazier part. Uh like people don't realize that some people like let's say you get pregnant with your tubes tied. Mm. You could possibly have an ectopic pregnancy. Meaning and it cannot yeah. drop into your uterus, meaning the baby will grow in a tube that's this big. It will explode. You will die. And that is only taken out by an abortion. Okay, but now on. you can't do that. Okay, so get, get that to me one more time. So, okay, uh, sometimes if you get, when you when a woman gets pregnant, mm-hmm. what happens is an egg drops, okay? Yeah. And then a sperm comes and it goes to it, right? The eggs come down from the fallopian tube into the uterus, and that's where the baby grows. Some women's egg, it doesn't drop, and the sperm still find it. So the baby is in the fallopian tube, so it's called an eptopic pregnancy. I've had one myself. It is painful. You feel like you are literally dying on the ins- like something is exploding inside of you. And the risk of death is higher. No, like you is- will die. The because the more it grows, your your fallopian tube will explode and you will die. It'll rupture. Yes, it'll rupture. So if they can't get to it, you'll hemorrhage out. You'll bleed out. You'll die. So the only you can't. The so only way to get rid of an eptopic is an abortion. Is an abortion. Like you can't keep it. There's no option to keep it. When what? you go to the hospital, like we have to get rid of this. They have to take it out. It's an abortion. Some women have a miscarriage Teach me at yeah. such a high part of the, the trimester that the only way to get the miscarriage out is called a DNC, which is an abortion. abortion. These are medically needed things. Do you still have the right to do that? No. If, if your state overturns it, it even said no medical. Now, some states can say we keep medical. Right, right. So it depends on each state. But when this recent one, which was with Mississippi, mm-hmm. it was even like there was an 11-year-old girl that right now that was trying to, I guess, have this done. And she was pregnant. And it was ancestral rape. And yep. they wouldn't let her get the abortion. Right. She was 11. They were forcing and her to keep it. I would I would want to know what percentage of abortions come from like something traumatic like or, rape or incest. It, versus, it's a versus, large percentage. It is. Do you think it's a larger percentage of a motherfucker over just, a motherfucker that just don't want to have a baby? No, I don't. I think it's I don't think it's larger than a person who just doesn't want to have a baby. And I I kind of understand both sides of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because there are a lot of reckless people out here just fucking whoever they want to fuck and right. getting pregnant. Right. But at the same time, when you really get to the deep down dirty grit of it, a lot of it is a cultural thing. It is a known fact that white people abort more than black people. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so if you're trying to preserve your culture, especially with the integration of races being an right. a, a all-time high right now, yep. if you are trying to preserve your culture, y'all got to stop. Yeah, see, that's where you, you, yeah. you're poking at my point now. Um, I don't agree with... Um, anybody telling anybody what they should do with their lives. Right. But this goes back to my take that we had last time when I was talking about animal cruelty. And I, and I said that um, human discretion is a problem a lot of the times. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because we get to determine like what's fair and what's foul. Right. And everybody's cool with what's fair and what's foul until you're what's foul. 
Right. You feel what I'm saying? So in this situation, women are the fucking cows. You right. feel me? You got right. somebody deciding what's going to happen with your life, and you don't have a say-so. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I say it's important to pay attention to other people's problems. <clears throat> there, were, there, were, there were laws passed that affected groups of people just as much as this one affected women. But we didn't give a fuck about that because it didn't affect us directly. Right. So we have to pay attention to other people's suffering because at some point we're going to want somebody to care about what's going on with us. Right. So I don't agree with that being said. I don't agree with anybody telling a woman what she can do with her body. But at the end of the day, um, this is going to force a lot of women to be a lot more responsible. We keep talking about how the egg drop and the aborting and shit and all that shit, right? But the egg don't drop if you force a nigga to put a rubber on. Right. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like you do have control over this situation before it even occurs. Yeah. There are a lot of rules in place and a lot of laws in place that we don't like, that don't serve other people. There's some felons that can't get a gun to protect themselves in this wild-ass culture that feel the same way you feel about abortion. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just we're just in a space, man, to where we... um. Like, I just feel like um, a lot of the laws and rules that they come up with are shitty. And we're just in a place where we, we're starting to realize, too, that we don't live in a free country. We still just have the the illusion of freedom. You feel what I'm saying? Most countries yeah. don't even have that. It's just like, bitch, y'all belong to us, and that's that. But I do agree with you. My take on it was that this was a play. Anytime rules, laws are made, they don't concern black people. Black mm -hmm. people just concern themselves with the laws. But the laws don't concern you. When they make plays like this, you got to look deeper than the surface. You feel me? Because guess what? I guarantee you, if one of y'all, if a black woman is about to have a baby and she wants to abort it, they'll help you find. They'll yeah. help you get rid of that they'll motherfucker because they don't want more of us. Yeah. This is. I think this is more of a play on for for them. Like because at the end of the day, they're looking at this like all right. White people look at the world in numbers. I'm not even gonna say white people, but the people in power, which just happen to be white men. Mm -hmm. White men run the world. Yep. They look at numbers. They're looking at the numbers like all right, cool. By this time. We'll be the minority if we don't increase the birth rate. Birth, right. birth rate. 2051. And, right. But when you think about a movie, I don't know if y'all have ever seen Idiocracy. I've told you about this movie yeah. before. So where it was just like the dummies were fucking reproducing at a rapid rate, but the people who had their shit together were planning parenthood. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And before you know it, they were too old to reproduce. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers fucking like rabbits in the trailer park. So now, fast forward to fucking like 20, 2060 or some shit, it's like the whole population is dumb because these are the motherfuckers reproducing. Mm -hmm. So they look at it from that standpoint to where like, fuck, we need more white babies being born. You feel me? So we don't become the minority. White people, if we, if we had to think about a culture that was more calculated with their births, it's usually white culture. They plan children. It's very few of us at this table were, that were probably playing. Right. I'm pretty sure none of our parents sat down and said, we gonna, we about to have a baby. E even though the conspiracy about Planned Parenthood, the origin of it was to destroy Story. black birth. Absolutely. That, was, that was absolutely. Just, she was, when this, you were this, gone, this, she had okay. said that okay. more white people have abortions than black people, right. which makes sense and, why they and, would ban it. Right. And the Roe versus Wade shit, my thing is like this, though. This is what's weird to me, too, though. Right? We live in society where most people would consider themselves Christian, right? And we would consider a baby a gift from God. God, right? So if these people are just trying to stop you from shitting on God's blessings, you feel what I'm saying? No. So 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 what what I'm saying is this is that it's this this is why I say we have selective comprehension on a lot of things. Right? If you are somebody that considers yourself to be a Christian, when childbirth is when you ha when you're pregnant, you consider that a gift from God. If that's what you follow, abortion isn't in that plan. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if right. you go into a to a space to where you feel like you want to get an abortion, you're going against what you believe in as well, because that's that, like we say. But that's, pe people that, hide behind a lot of things. But that's mostly that side who was against, who was anti-abortion. They 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 stand on the religious aspect of it, right? But they're but, but but just like other people who are supposedly Christian, like even the people who aren't on that side consider themselves Christians or Baptists. They just like you. They go to church and they pray. Most most of us. Right. Like you'll go in the comments and you'll hear people say, like this, like it's almost like you're making comments like this ain't God like. Yeah, but there's nothing in the Bible that says you shouldn't have an abortion. I mean, that's that's new age technology and shit like that. They, They're going by yeah. just the basis of thou shalt not kill. Right, right, and 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 life is a gift from God. Right, right. like we like to consider a gift from God Facts. life. You feel me? And I um, and what 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 lets me know that's that's that it's that's the play is because. You're not even allowed to get an abortion if you were raped. 
It's like these folks just need more soldiers. They don't right. give a fuck what them soldiers look like, where they come from. We'll groom them. You feel me? LeBron James came from a mama that pr- that probably shouldn't, have, that probably wasn't in position to have him, but she had him, and we got LeBron now. Yeah. You feel me? He could have been aborted by a motherfucker that felt like they shouldn't have had him. You feel what I'm saying? But that's a lot of cases. Like, bro, I'm number six of ten. My mama could have stopped at five. There would be no anxiety issues. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like um, not saying that people should be. My, my point is this, is that not just saying people should be forced to have babies. What I'm saying is this, is that these folks need soldiers and they don't give a fuck how they come. Okay. We need more white people. That's how they feel. OK, we'll, we'll get to because I, I do believe that I have, I have a funny clip about that, too, that it's about uh, so white population coming to minorities. Right. right. As women, you, you you both feel some kind of way about this is violating women's rights, right? Of course. Just a random question. Do you feel this same way about prostitution being illegal? I'm just curious. Um, actually, I have a lot of clients that are sex workers. And I do feel like if they want to sell their vagina, they should be able to. What are their names? I'm not saying <laughs> 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 sex to yes. and, and just, hit me with the price, too. I do. I have a very big population just, of just women send me who those. do things. Like, <laughs> and there's some of the smartest motherfucking people I ever met. You don't care about none of that. Some of their hairdos. <laughs> Straight up. We'll, we'll Colors and all that. Just let me know. I do, I do feel like they should be able to, because they, they go through a lot My of bullshit. My boys here, what are their names? <laughs> if you have the right to choose to keep a baby or not, sex. you should also have a right to choose to sell your vagina or not. I think it's more like how they tried to say they couldn't add a tax or a tariff on marijuana, and they're mm. still in the process of trying to make something that is or legal that used to be considered illegal. Right. Anything to where they can subsidize on it and control it. Because you can't control a woman selling her pussy, they it's illegal. But are you but agreed. it's providing a sir anything that is a service I should be paid for. I don't care what type of service it is. But as a woman, do you stand behind yes. selling your vagina? If that's if not that's mine, yours, if, but if yeah, that's, that's what she wants to do, that's like saying a woman who chooses to be a babysitter. I'm giving myself to watch somebody else fucking kids. Mm-hmm. It's still or a, a wet nurse. It's women yeah. selling their breast milk right now. Yeah. That's exactly. odd, you know what I mean, yeah. to some people. So yeah. why she can't sell? I'm providing country. a service, but it's because hers. this service is not taxable that's why it's this this goes along the lines of the shit you were saying last show to where it's like bro it freedom is all or nothing yeah we either free or we're not not. that's it like you can't you can't disagree with certain things and agree with certain things because you just agreeing with what makes you comfortable we either free or we not there's pros and cons to both you feel me and you have to accept the pros and cons of both and people don't want to do that so there's it's more, just like you can't be a woman that's okay with some laws, but you're not okay with this law. There's more freedom in being a woman than a womb being. Than a what? I, a born woman. Mm-hmm. You just become a woman and you get yeah, more they, freedoms they, they than you do if do. you were like actually born with one. The guy who one. won the uh, skateboard competition against the 11 year old and 13 year old kids. Uh, male transgender. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Competing, a grown ass yep. man competing with children. They, they gonna stop this shit. And they gave him first place over these <laughs> yeah. children. Yeah, they gonna stop this. This shit, that shit you're not. He motherfuckers swimming, playing yeah. basketball, <laughs> singing, <laughs> rapping. And bro, what the fuck, it. bro? It is in the Fourteenth Amendment though, and this does but, include but, that. Yeah. Uh, the this uh, the overturn of Roe versus Wade. Answer this. Right. They gonna stop that shit. Do though. you believe? Because I um, it, it it it's crazy to me that we have laws that we have been following. Since we don't. like yeah. slavery was in place, like at some point, do you feel like a lot of these shit should be thrown out and revamped, bro? I think all the constitute articles of con- con- with the con- because with the you got to think they weren't made with certain redone. people in mind, but we were. Oh, they weren't made with us in mind. And that's what I meant. We they were still one third of a man. They specifically yeah. said and this wasn't for you. That's what I meant. Man. So yeah, no, absolutely our right. Our votes count one third. Mm-hmm. Like when you yeah. go to the poll to vote for your president, our votes don't even count equal still to this day. So it there's no this is why I that. choose not to vote. Well, Donald, mean, Donald Trump coming back anyway, so yeah, you can get I mean, ready. Definitely. You, I you mean, can but who can fuck with Trump? As in, in the no. words of TDJ, get ready, get ready. Like, that nigga's coming back. <laughs> what's what's <laughs> name gonna win next time? What? Who? DeSantis, brother. No, man, DeSantis. That baby Trump though. Baby. I, I ain't gonna. That I ain't gonna. Jones. It's some shit DeSantis did in the school. I'm gonna tell you something about. He let me keep my fire. I'm gonna tell you something about that man Donald Trump though. 
There has never been a president like that. They love this man, brother. There's never there been has, a president like him. There has never been this amount of love. That man is mafia certified. He is what we, we, he is what whatever we think these gangsters are, he, he is, is that. that. They love he this man. That. Do you understand? They still call him their president. If he if he stamps you like as a politician, you're a made man. Yeah. All of the people who are, he are stamping as Republicans, they winning, I can, dog. I can see Trump pushing the button on the bitch. Like it ain't nothing too. Yeah. Getting your like, getting your ass whacked and not giving a fuck. Like keep going period. by his day. Forgot he got you whacked. Oh, that happened earlier. Press a button on your ass. I ain't gonna lie. I like the nigga. I, I don't like I don't the people who follow him. But with him. It's just the he's point such that a gangster the, yeah, that you people. you gotta respect what he's doing. Though. From like, a business standpoint, I mean. He, Shit, from, he helped a man, that man is behind <laughs> all of these politicians right now to this day. That man was putting people in Supreme Court seats just so he can come back and do shit just like this. Obama, Obama, Obama was harder than him, though. He was just black. If Obama yeah. were white, he'd be he'd be better than Trump. No. He, I'm going to tell you why he was smoother, though, because Obama will talk you into doing some shit that you don't want to do. Just by laughing at your ass. Yeah, he was smooth, bro. He, <laughs> like, it was, it was, bro, you got to think about was, his position, bro. Obama was cool. I do respect him now more that he's out of office than when he was in office. He didn't do shit for black people in office, but I get it. But yeah, but I often say you know don't fuck one with that shit. Why? Why yeah. what? They stopped a lot of the stuff he tried to do. Thanks to Donald Trump, I know you could do a lot more shit than you said you could and couldn't do. But, but, but Donald Trump but, is white with all these white no, 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 no. Say that. Say that. No, no, no. Because Donald Trump. But even the white man system, Donald Trump is on his own system. Yeah. There were plenty. But you can do that Let when you white. That's what I'm saying. There, no, no, no. When you're the president, your color is out of that nigga was the president. Li mm. I'm listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I know you want to disagree. Tippy toe. I, I want people to understand what the president is. Then we drifting from Roe from Wade, Roe and it's versus Wade, but we'll get back. When you go, when you run I'm for the president. Puppet. You are the most powerful human being in the world. You do understand that. That Not is the Congress. that is the that is the equivalent of kings and queens. Do you get it? Now we interchange them out so much because of democracy that we just kind of view view it as a position. Right. But, but you are the leader of the most powerful army in the world. Yeah. Do you understand that? Facts. But okay. Cool. Let me get what I'm. Ahead, let me go get what I'm going. going. Okay. Go cool. Where you going? My bad, brother. Let me get. If out you the way. follow Trump, if you follow Donald Trump's history, okay. Even the Republicans did not rock with him when he was running. You're right. Okay? When he was running for primary, they laughed at him. They thought he was a joke. He is not a politician whatsoever. Whoever fucks with Trump, he would have fucked with. If black people loved him, he would have rocked with us like none did other. Did he not get funded or whatever? He had to, like, get his own no. funding because... Yeah, he funded yeah. himself. Yeah, no, right. They thought they laughed at yeah. him. You can go back and look at clips of all of these uh, uh, of Fox News anchors clowning him. Okay? So, listen... He got in office and he shows you what you can truly do with that power because he's not diplomatic. Yeah, I'm not saying that's the right way to do it. He just not diplomatic. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Like I, I, as the I big yeah, dog, I was, just, I was just gonna say because oh, oh. like that 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 same play though don't work when you're but, a nigga. No, though. no, no, brother. It Listen doesn't. to what I'm saying. Obama ain't just a nigga. Let's stop that for. He was the first black president. He is a nigga, but that's the nigga of all niggas. He climbed a mountain that is. Okay, fathom this with me, right? We know how hard it is for black people to succeed in this world, right? We, right, we, we right. all agree with that? We understand that's a hell of a mountain to climb, right? Just a regular black person. How you think he got up there? That nigga's cold-blooded as, as a... Let me... He's cold-blooded as... He didn't get there by mistake. You think they let that nigga tiptoe up to that office to even run for primary? That nigga is legit he a gangster, bust too. He his ass. I get that. But at the that end nigga of the day... Some backs. At the end of the day, it does not take away from this. No, and do I'm not taking away from that. Do you know how many times he submitted Obamacare before it got approved? Yeah, I'm not even worried about Obamacare because well, that ain't I'm just shit. Saying, but I'm just saying, when it comes to, mm -hmm. they make it harder he do for what he us. To do. He sure. couldn't do what he wanted. understand, they make it hard for everybody. Trump wanted a wall. They made it hard for that shit. Trump bucked the system. I'm just showing you. Because he is let, white let, No, 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 because system. no other white person did that. Listen to what I'm saying. Get color out your mind for just no two other seconds. No, you can't. I can't. You have to no, because can't. you can't say no other person can and no other white president ever did that. Trump is not running like a white president. He is making his own rules. And we, and he we, is running. He is a regular nigga. That's like if you gave me the job right now. No. There'd be some shit that happens. They'd be like, listen, I didn't even know you could listen, do that. We're not, we're not, we're not, listen, we're not, listen, we're not. If Obama said, I'm going to build a wall to stop Hispanics from crossing the wall, they would have looked listen, at that's they, not, they, that. That's not, that, they just like, just like, that. I feel like y'all are not watching the news. Now we're about to argue. I feel like y'all not watching the news. 
<laughs> when that man said build a wall and Mexico is going to fund it, there are plenty of people in political offices who looked at him like, what the fuck they is this did, clown talking but he's about? Still right. white. Yes, bro. I know he's still white, well, Tania. So he, stop uh, saying he's white. Let's have an articulate conversation. I, we know he's white. We know Obama's well, it's not black. Articulate listen, about me cause, saying cause listen, he's y'all still keep saying white. this. If I'm gonna just say anything, y'all gonna be like, cause he white. All right, then fuck it then. Let's move on. Yeah, Roe but, versus but, Wade. How y'all feel about women and pussy? <laughs> and let's move on then. <laughs> because this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I understand that he's white. I understand that Obama is black, but they both achieve the presidential role. Trump is clearly not running his presidency like any other white president or any other color president. And you got to let me get to my point, go ahead, go and then y'all can have it. I'm done with it. Go ahead, man. Okay, cool. Trump showed what a lot of people can get done as president if you wanted to buck the system. So, just like Obama got in there and he got laws straightened for gays, didn't it? Okay, exactly. Just like uh, 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 the Asian hate bill got approved mighty fucking fast, didn't it? Cool. So he could have got in there and done something for black people, but I understand the optics of it. If I get in here as a black man and I and I and I go Trump on y'all, let's say I get in here. As, let's say Obama was Trump. I get in and I just start doing black power shit. Uh-huh. There'll never be another nigga ever again. So I understand now, like, okay, brother, I understand that I wanted you to be the black president, but you had to be the president for all. And that's, that's, and that's all we're saying. Just yeah, that's all we're saying. No, I, I'm not asking a question. I'm saying I understand him now that's after. All we, that's all we that's want all to hear. We no, yeah. Yeah, cool. no yeah. what I'm saying is he could have done it another way, but I respect him being but, wise but enough see, to not do it that way. But see, way. this is the difference. I'm, Trump but, is not wise. But, Trump, like, I don't give right, a fuck how but, this goes, but, my nigga, right. here. But see so this, Obama could have done that. Right, but see. He could have got up there and been like facts, black power. Facts, but this is the difference, though. It's like you just said. Mm-hmm. Trump is going to run, and he's going to win again. If yes, Obama he had win. done what he wanted to do, and he run, he would never win again. I disagree with that. But, well, no, no, okay, I don't disagree with that. Because you just because, said it. No, 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 I'm, I'm not just saying it. I disagree with that because of the law of numbers. There's not enough black people that support him getting there to do black That's shit. the thing, though. Obama had to do stuff, like you said, with the yeah. gay rights and stuff. Mm-hmm. He had to do stuff to appeal to the crowd. To the masses, he was, exactly. Right, to get them. So that's yes. why. Oh. Trump is just the person that don't give a fuck about shit. Right. And then not only that, when you have your own... Trump was smart. He knew numbers. He's always worked in he finances. Was a CEO and he knew of numbers. People need to quit calling him smart, though. That nigga yeah, ain't smart. Trump that nigga know, got smart people around him. He was smart when it came to... No, no. Well, that nigga ain't smart. Trump, Trump, Trump didn't know numbers. He knew people. Yeah, he knew people. He knew right. people. That man what, is not smart. even then, is again, knowing people allowed him to do the shit he did. Yeah, but but. Understand this though, like, because uh, but, he was white. No, but understand this though, it, Trump is Trump. Like he, he's not even white. Let, let me explain to you what I'm saying. Okay, listen. He's definitely orange. Yeah, he's orange. I agree. <laughs> right. Trump had zero backing. Do you understand this? I do. Okay, cool. When Trump was running for primary, just trying to get some votes, he was a laughing stock of the Republican Party. Okay, I'm just explaining this for all people watching, because he's about to be your president again, and you need to know this shit. Okay, cool. He was the laughing stock, right? So any votes help, right? If I'm running for something, your votes matter for me. Right. Like, let's say I'm running for something, and I'm not gay, but let's say gay people take a liking to me. Well, who do you think I'm going to start talking to? Gay people. because They're my people. people. Right. right. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting to be the most powerful person in the world. So if gay people fucking with me, hey, bro, fuck Bone them talking about. Gays, transgender, I'm all for it, right? He, that man had a meeting with David Duke, who was the leader of the KKK, right? After that, they asked Donald Trump, do you support David Duke? Now, he had no backing. That man said something very general, like he couldn't confirm or deny him because I need those votes, right? When he did that, black people said, oh, you racist, I don't fuck with you. Now, keep in mind, y'all remember Donald Trump before running for president. We fuck with him. Yeah. Rap songs, rap videos, niggas fuck with him. Right. But he said that, and all of a sudden, like, oh, we, we were racist, we don't fuck with him. So after Obama had just won and all black people proudly said we were happy to have a black president, you know them backwood, middle of America coons who hated that shit was looking forward to stick it back to you. When y'all said y'all didn't fuck with Trump, guess who we want to vote for now? That's our mascot. Trump became the mascot for racism, not even on purpose. He didn't smartly do that. That just happened to him. We gave that to him. You understand? Because we we bragged about our president is black. We was happy about that shit. And them country boys hated that shit. So when we said that we hated Trump, that became their man. And Trump understand, bro, this is how I'm going to win. Black people already put their they flag in the saying, y'all don't fuck with me, so fuck y'all. Yeah, He's not a politician. Fuck you. If I, you don't like me, 
This is how I'm running. Yeah, I think I think you already commented on the point that we were trying to make when you just said that, like, he understood that there was a great risk of him doing anything out the way. Him bucking the system, he knew yeah. it was good risk. Man, that man getting in and letting anybody, that man hiring his own people, he don't give a fuck if you got experience. That nigga partnering Lil Wayne and Kodak back, he doing what the fuck he want to do. Right, He right. don't care about shit, bro. But, but, uh, but a lot of that, though, bro, is all, all the only point we're making is that a lot of that can be done Right, Obama could have done it. Could but have. That's my only point. He could, he could have. have done it, but but success. but he wouldn't. He couldn't have done it with he impunity. Been a regular ass ghetto That's person. all I'm saying. Trump, Trump did not, that shit with impunity. No, he's not. Trump is being on trial. Trump is being criticized. And but he gonna run been, again, and he gonna win. That's impunity. Is. That's not impunity. He don't even care. He don't care. That's because he was the most powerful. Per- you're not gonna ever lock up your president. Do you think we're gonna lock up our president? You know. No. It's not gonna happen. They'll never lock up a former president. Come on, now, man. Roe Ro versus Wade, man. Roe cool. versus Wade. Roe versus Wade. So I only asked y'all about prostitution because I wanted to see if it was across the board as far as uh how you feel about women's rights. I too disagree with the overturning of the situation, right? I'm not saying that I'm for abortion, but I don't feel like I have a ground to stand on. What how can I tell a woman what to do with her body? Right. That's just our, plain common business. sense to me. It ain't our business. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I even that, so I, I do stand with women on that aspect. But I do think it's across the board. Uh, Jane Rowe, who was Norman McCorry, uh, that child who was born, right? She's 51 now. Her name is Shelly Thornton. She said she got a chance to meet her mother before she passed away in 2017, right? And they asked her how you feel about your mom, that this whole debacle was over. Well, she said she feels like her mom is self-centered, right? She met her mom. She feels like her mom is selfish. She has no interest in kids. You know she gave her other two kids away for abortion as well, right? She gave him for adoption. For adoption, excuse yeah. me, right. And then she wanted to abort Shelly, the mm-hmm. one who is now 51, right? Yeah. So in uh, 1995, Jane Rowe joined the anti-abortion uh, group. Yeah. I think it was called Operation Rescue or something. Mm-hmm. So even though she did this whole Jane Rowe thing and she was for abortion, she got religious. And she said, no, now all of a sudden I'm against it. So do you feel any kind of different way that she changed her own mind about her stance on abortion? Well, like you said earlier, um, abortion is Christian. Mm-hmm. Well, like if you're a Christian, and well, Bone said earlier, if you're a Christian, you believe that a baby is a gift from God, in the same sentence, she got saved. Right. So if she got saved, then of course she would change her mind. Um, I mean, I don't think that her daughter meeting her one time after not knowing her ever you can take and gather that a person is self-centered because they gave up all these kids. Well, she sound like no, a wild yeah, girl. Yeah, I finna say, it'll take, take, it, it, take but a few minutes to figure it, out if a motherfucker is self-centered. It she can was sound 22 wild. with three kids, and you didn't want none of them. Right, but I'm just saying, like, it still takes two people to get pregnant. She didn't just go out and wildly get pregnant on her own. Yeah. Yes, she was fucking raw, and she shouldn't have been because then she wouldn't have got pregnant. Yeah. But this was also in the but you, 70s. You can be self-centered and freaky as fuck. You can, but I'm just saying, this lady she, met her one time. Where, is her, where are the fathers at? If well, it's not. It's, yeah, you're not mad at them. You're just mad at her. And then also, I'm saying, is if someone becomes Christian and you get saved, you get saved, you change your ways, and you decide now... I don't believe in what I believed in. That's what you're supposed to do when you get saved, right? You're supposed to go back against what you... So it's kind of like the same people who are saying we don't want abortions because don't kill the babies. Right. They you, should be able to understand how a person can get saved and decide to change their mind. That's all I'm saying. How do you let somebody of that stature change the world, bro? Like somebody like that come in, you just, just decide out, you just out here fucking. You clearly ain't nobody that's being raped. Right, you right, just right. out here fucking, wilding, and letting nigga, let motherfuckers skeet, skeet off on you, you, and you change the, the whole world. course of history. Now, what I just read let, though, let, hold on before you go, was that the attorney is that's, the one who told her to sue. That's Donald Trump. You just become a mascot for something <laughs> bigger than you. Right, that's my whole point. Right. I'm done with it. Right, you just become a mascot. So I agree. But so my point is, Jane Roe is not the most upstanding human being. No. Right? right. Okay. Cool. So what point? And I think Bone was getting to this earlier. Is accountability. I'm just playing yeah. devil's advocate. Yeah. I'm just Absolutely. playing devil's advocate. Say that clearly because right. they'll be acting like you got right. them. You I'm not supporting right. something. What okay. point are, are abortions letting people off the hook for Pro accountability? Because yeah. it sounds like Miss Norma McCorvey was, was highly people. irresponsible and didn't want to deal with my consequences. Right. That's a tough one. Oh, no, it's easy. <laughs> people are irresponsible anyway. 
But it's like, like she both. was saying, there is still room for growth and maturation. Like people grow and change, or should grow and change on a daily basis to constantly become better than they were the day before. Right, but who has to suffer for that along the way? That's what I'm saying. So if they want to get rid of the baby, then no one suffers but them. Their body's the one getting fucked up by continuing to have something ripped out of them. Um, no, so, but no, if you, they keep birthing the babies, then they're just putting them in foster care or treating them horribly. And, and, and the kids still grow up mentally a lot of times fucked, fucked up. up. But so I, I would he, much rather be growing up mentally fucked up than, than not aborted. growing up at all. Yeah. But that's just like, did you see the uh, yeah. kid with his mother talking about some? She should have aborted me with the sign and yeah. all of that shit. Mm-hmm. Like that <laughs> child is still. Fu- he'll be if he the had one a sign like that, he him. probably should have been aborted. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's. It's yeah. still mentally screwing people up. No, Either yeah, sometimes way, life ain't the so best for up some on motherfuckers. Both sides, like, but, 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 Depending but, on how they were birthed, like, you gotta understand there are women who are drug pushers on, like, series or ho- uh, heroin, meth, or whatever the case right. is, selling their bodies and getting pregnant just to get a fix or whatever. I used to mentor a little girl. Her mother was a crackhead. Her mother birthed her in the crack house and slit her daughter's wrist to kill it after having it. And this girl grew up mentally fucked up saying, why would my mom try to kill me? Right. But I still just... And I, so, you see what I'm saying? And, like, and, and that's, yeah, that, that's and what I, that girl Shelly said she had to deal with. Yeah. That same... And I feel you, and I feel up. you, but people I just... Be, I and feel then like, hurt people continue to hurt people, so it's like, then this is where the mass school shooters come from and all of this other crazy fucked listen, up man, shit when you probably should have it. If it's an option between me not being born and me shooting up a school, let me shoot up the school. <laughs> <laughs> no, kill you early. Yeah. That's all you gonna do. Get him early. To, put me out here. No, crack it out. Be out here. No, you don't need to be if out I'm, here. Even if I'm wild and I need to be out here. Okay. Oh, so it, it is crazy though, because you could not be alive. Listen, bro, there, I'm here. Yeah. I'm in this bitch. Is there yeah. li- some you people don't, some people don't need to be in this bitch. <laughs> That's facts though. Yeah. That's facts. Some motherfuckers don't need to be in this bitch. Is there, so but is there, say is there a, li- like is there a limit to like this though? Is, 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 is there ever a woman that you'll look at and be like, all right, bitch, enough? Like, how many abortions? Like, I'm just back. I, I'm in here. Oh, two that's not health wise. I'm if looking they, at you wild as fuck. But, but that's still follow. But that's her right. How can you it look is, at her? I mean, I'm, I'm that's not, why I say all the time human discretion yeah. is a motherfucker. I'm not going to say nothing to her, but I'm definitely going to be like, I feel like there's a way they can pass some sort of medical law to where yeah. if abortions were legal and we can pull up your hospital at bitch, you on your third abortion, we finna rip all of your shit out. You just don't need to But get see, this, the, this, no the, this is the problem. So, this is the problem with human discretion right. again. All you're doing is creating layers of things that are comfortable for you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if we're going to make abortion legal, it needs to be legal. I they need to be able to get 12 of these motherfuckers have, if I want them. Because the original reason was so that women didn't go in back alleys and do, like, dirty dancing and get it with a hanger and die. Because that's what yeah. was happening when it but was But I, I promise you, I promise you. They're going to still like get you one. Say, if it's legal, you, you cannot you know, tell. Use a little neem oil. Right, and if it's illegal, it's illegal. It's either one or the other. Ladies, if you need it. Yeah, so I just human discretion is always going to come into play. That's why I'm not someone who makes decisions or judges or bases anything off of emotion. It's logic with me. It's black and white. Is this the rule or is this not the rule? Agreed. Like, you feel me? We can't have a gray area to what, where it's comfortable. We're like, what if? No, nigga. If it's the rule, it's the rule. If it's not the rule, it's not the rule. I chose to get my tubes tied, so I feel like I can't tell nobody they can't abort. Well, I didn't choose to get mine removed. My ex signed the waiver. My tubes were removed without my permission. Oh, you got them removed, well, not wild. just tied? They were gone. Oh, I had my, yeah, because, yeah, your husband is son, in charge of you. When he was in the military, I had my son, and he was my four C-section. So yep. when my anesthesiologist came, gave me my spinal tap, he ruptured my spinal cord, caused problems. Then when they went to perform the C-section, he ruptured my tubes. And they told him, we can either remove the tube that's ruptured or we can try to repair it. And he was like, can we sign to remove both of them? And, of course, I'm sedated, so I don't know what the fuck they talking it about. It sounds like them for all you some money. And he signed. Yep. Oh, man, so he signed. You can't sue the military. Yeah. Oh, yeah and you're, you're right. married. You can't. That's you're right. And I'm married. And he signed the waiver to have both of my fallopian tubes removed so I can never get pregnant again. So give me your initial initial feeling. When you when you come to at some point and you realize this has been made for you. Initially, I was okay with it because I finally felt like I had the missing piece to my puzzle. I had my son. I had three daughters. I wanted a son. I had my son, and I never in a million years thought I would be divorcing my ex. Right. Mm-hmm. So I felt like my family was complete. 
But then after my son turns two to go through the processes of divorcing, it's like, nigga, you done fucked up my whole life. If I get with another nigga that wants one, because being in the position I'm in, there are more men that I get hit on that don't have kids. Right. right. Than that do. So mm -hmm. when he says, hey, yeah, I want, like, you just make a small talk. I want one daughter and I want one son. It's like, nigga, I can't give you that. I can never give you that. Does it make you feel less of a woman? Just curious. No, because I still, women, I don't some, want anymore. Because some women place their value on their ability to give birth. But I have four. Right. I don't want anymore. I'm okay with it. And if you can't get on my gravy boat and just ride the waves with me, then you're not meant to be with me. We can adopt somebody. I, I'm okay. I don't so, want to adopt nobody else's demons. I was. Mm, we can't do that. Anymore. I was super you lucky. You never know what you're getting in an adoptive child. Y'all understand that, but if I meet you and you empty, I get to go find. I get to go pick. Do one of those slip ins, Tanil. No. Do one of those fucking. I often have her do a slip in on your ass. No, no, you got to let it happen mm -hmm. naturally, though. Damn. It's, she sound like she was gonna me, do it. It's she not the it. same though. Like me having my own children, I breastfed all four. But you can do surrogates, <laughs> right? Me too. You can take eggs, steal them, but I wouldn't want that either because. For me, I enjoy being pregnant. The intimacy between me and my husband at the time, mm -hmm. him being able to feel the baby kick and laying there while I'm sleeping, or yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? That ain't it's what a it whole was. That process. Was, yeah, that wasn't laying next to that baby. We know what that <laughs> pregnant pussy did. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. talking, about, talking about the intimacy laying there by rubbing the baby. Saying, he rubbed like, that baby when two the, times. You want it? As the baby grows, you do get to experience all of that. And but, so for me, it, the entire thing is just an intimate thing right. between husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend. And when you talk about bringing in the surrogate is like okay you rubbing on another woman bed. but like, you, I'm not rubbing on her bed so, she ain't here but you wouldn't work with a hold on you wouldn't work with a I, I, I feel you <laughs> I heard you <laughs> you wouldn't work you wouldn't work with your new you meet a new guy and, and you guys hit it off and this is going places and proposals and everything you wouldn't work with him like I, I do want a child I do want a baby between us I have surrogate money like, it ain't like she in the house. I'm not laying on the surrogate. That's wild. <laughs> but just do it your uterus. <laughs> That's yeah. some wild ass shit. You a cold ass no. nigga, you laying but up. What? You come home, me. Your old lady come in, you laying on the baby belly. Like, hey, baby, look at Look at being a little so surrogate. So I don't have eggs. No, I, I still well, have No, well, then you can get pregnant. They just got to take your egg and put it in your they uterus. Have, and that's it. In in vitro. The risk the of risk, doing yeah. it, because I've had four C-sections, yeah. is too great. I've had three, like, so I get it. literally... Yeah. Whoever I get with, they I better be ready for some fucking doctor's <laughs> bills because that shit is not going to be cheap at all. The process nah. I would have to go to through, I will automatically be considered high risk. I will automatically be bedridden for a majority of the Yeah, no. Nah. You're the only much. one at the table and had a C-section, huh? Uh, what you mean? Was your baby C-section or natural birth? Or like I was up top. I can't be down there. I don't know how they did that. Did she vaginally have it or did I, she? No, get she, she shit it. <laughs> oh my god! Did they have? Did they cut her or was up? you in the room with mm -hmm. her feet up? Did they have like a, a curtain up to keep you on one side? My baby was born on January first. I, <laughs> I was drunk as fuck. <laughs> you hear me? I was lit in that bitch. Uh, oh, she's a New Year's baby. I was drunk. Lucky in that little baby. Capricorn. Come here. Mm -hmm. I, listen, I told my baby mama. I said, "Hey, don't have that baby tonight. I'm getting drunk." Motherfucker had that baby tonight. Nah. Listen, my doctor was cool. My doctor sat me down when I asked for my first tooth tie, and it was after my second baby, and said, you should wait. You have a healthy uterus, blah, 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 blah. So I waited. And then he was like, are you sure you want to do this? What if you get married again? And I seriously thought it in my head, and I realized if I get married again, I want to be selfish, and I don't want to share my person with a child. Yeah, for you. I, don't, I, want, I want that person to be mine, and we not have a child together. Like, you can have kids, and I can have kids. But we ain't got shit together. Yeah, just enjoy you. I just want two for you. Sorry. That's not how it works. So I tied that's my tubes, and I was so happy that I did it. Y'all are so selfish. My, my tubes are gone. Just enjoy yeah. shooting the club. Now, like, there's yeah, one fine. person I told no, I would untie them for. That's all cool, but I want, I want somebody but. to die. I keep shooting in here. If I just keep shooting the club up and missing everybody. That boy said I want somebody to die if I keep shooting in here. Yeah, the music don't even stop playing. They just like, hey, with it gun again. Nah, I need somebody. I need somebody to die. And for all you fellas out there man that acting like y'all ain't concerned about Roe versus Wade understand that these coaches about to get a little more title that these folk gonna be a little more selective about who, listen to me listen, you rolling your eyes but you rolling your eyes for the wrong group of women there's some women out here bro the, the, a lot of the ones that you gonna want that coochie from when it's quality coochie 
Gonna be a little more careful with that coochie, bro. It yeah. might not be. It might be two bodies more careful, but it's more careful. Yeah. And you, and when you get cut off, you might be one of them two they bodies. They might regulate yeah. the plan Bs too, so you better, you better stock it on up. There is nothing more illogical than a hard dick and a wet vagina, son. Irresponsible, irresponsible sex will continue to happen. More babies will continue to come. Thanks. You ever said something doing sex that you don't know even know why you said it? You ain't never tell a nigga nothing to me. You know damn well this is not a good idea for <laughs> either <laughs> of us. Like, for okay. real. Like, that shit is just the dumbest. Like, why they the fuck bust we, off. Like, why did we say that? That was the stupidest thing. <laughs> so, but I just, uh, all jokes aside, I do want women to know that uh, we do support you on this show. We stand with you. Uh, uh, there are women on the other side of it for religious beliefs, but it, I think uh, for the most part of this show, believes that a woman That's should have the right to do. It's religious yeah. beliefs until it's done. Yeah, and, but and y'all got to and y'all got to understand too, though, that this shit don't stop at Roe versus Wade. This is um, the beginning of a lot of other laws being reversed and a lot of other freedoms being taken away. So that's why I keep saying that. Be concerned with other people's problems because they soon may be your problem. Well, they coming for gay marriage next. Though. They, you can believe that. Oh, the Fourteenth Amendment they, is open for discussion they, when they bringing coming, this up. So, and that yeah. is concluding same-sex marriage. They are coming. Marriages. They are coming, coming. for. They coming for a Trump, lot of shit. They about to take to all that Trump shit. Trump to get that. So what Trump I'm saying is that, that like, yeah. stop being focused on your isolated group of problems. We all are going to have a problem. So when you got a problem, I got a problem. And when I got a problem, you better act like you got a problem because. Right. I can't, if I'm not helping you with your problem, your problem is going to consume you. And if you're not helping me with mine, mine is going to consume me. And before you know it, we're in a new world order where every goddamn thing functioning how they say it's going to function. Like, people are losing power I'm in nervous. sections. I'm getting nervous. Don't talk about it. Don't be. Uh, it's, a before, it's, it's a conspiracy. It before we go, uh, the reason why I wanted you back, I thought it was dope. You came on last time, and you just immediately started talking about your relationship. And I feel like I'm the only person who is just completely transparent. I feel like I overshare, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Are you back out here dating? Yes she said no. she was flowing. Yes and I'm no. Flo I'm a floater. Yeah, yeah float. okay. I'm a floater. You're a floater. Okay, so in your experience, you got to translate back what that float. is because I, I don't want these folk calling you no, no <laughs> hoe in the comment because floater. That the first thing no. crossed so my mind is like, like you fucking. Yeah, you yeah. fucking. People have to understand there's a difference between dating and being in a relationship. And my dating, yes, dating is socializing, getting to know people. You mm. know, if you're not for me, then I'm okay with that. You're cool though. Mm. And then being in a relationship, that's more of a commitment between two people. Right. I'm not in a commitment with anybody. Do I date? Do I hang out? Yes. Do you have a preferable age range in your? I would say my age range is like 29 to 39 Can't do no 25, 26. No. Is, no. Maturity level. Maturity level usually isn't there. Why does why does 29 sound so fucking immature for a man? When she said 29, I'm just like, damn, that's, but that's I'm low. Only yes, I'm only 33. That's I understand that, but so that's still, like, it, it's, I, it's rare to see a 33-year-old woman, like, take a 29-year-old series. That's why I'm, that's why I'm like, no, teeter-tottering. They going young. Yeah, they cooking, they Older fucking young, is. but I mean, like, commitment young. No. It's no, rare. No, no, it's no, a little no. more rare. 29, and that's only because I knew where I was at 29. Mm -hmm. But it's really the mindset, because I know some 40-year-olds that are fucked up people, and they still on the childish bullshit. Yeah, but, so, but as a man, 29, you got to, as a woman, you got to subtract five more from that. A 29-year-old man is like a 25-year-old man. Well, what's, the, like what's, the grown, what's the grown man age? Then? I like what, him at 33. What, what, what's the, what, that's when them niggas what, start when figuring When I say, like, out. you really no, get no, to no. the point where you sick of yourself. I like 34. 34. My ex is 33, and so he's still 30, 30, no. no, 33 is when you start going. He got one more year there. 34, 35 is when you start, like, looking in the mirror. 34, 35 is when you start looking no. in the mirror. Like, I like, I like bro, I, I need to sit my ass down somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. 34 no, no, no. is the age. That's when they muscle. start trying to be like, they fuck off mentality a little bit more than they do just, like, they'll fuck you still. But, like, if they want to fuck with you heavy, it's, they got to want to talk to you a little bit. My question is to you, the reason why I ask you all that, okay, we, we give women a hard time on this show, so I want to give both of you the opportunity to tell us what do you feel like men are missing, black men specifically, okay? What have you noticed since being back out here? What are we missing? Are we not passionate enough? Are we not focused on commitment? I'm, what I'm is I'm not going to say it's any of that. I feel like it's a lack of just being upfront and truthful. Don't 
allow me to perceive you as one way and then discover you're doing the opposite of what you're telling me that you're going to do. For example, I get with a guy or meet somebody, oh, yeah, I want a relationship and I want this, this, and this, but then you move different from what you're telling me. Like, if you just want to fuck friend, be honest with me and say that. Hey, I think you cute, you fine, whatever, your ass fat. Can we fuck, yes or no? But men are going to do that because they're afraid of the scrutiny of how they're going to be perceived. Can I ask you a, hold, on, no. hold on, can I ask you a question real quick? If a cop pulls you over, <laughs> right? Here we go. You know I'm coming with it. Yeah. <laughs> a cop pulled you over. And he's like, my radar gun kind of wasn't working. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The speed limit is 70. <laughs> Were you going 85 or 95? Which one was it? You, gonna tell the you were going 95. What you going to tell this officer? I'm going to tell him if your gun wasn't working, why you pulled me over? And he going to tell you, I understand that. But were you going 85 or 95? See, I'm an asshole. I'm going to still sit here and be like, can I go? So you All right, well, how about this? I'm going I'm to write you a ticket for 95 since you ain't telling me if you're going 85 or 95. Which you one you going? You said she's trying to duck this. But my you thing is, lie. no, I'm not going to lie. You I'll just see to. my day in court because I'm going to you going to say to me? What's your badge number? I'm going to say I was going 82. Because if because, I'm not. Because, 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 I swear to God, I was going to lie. Since I might even cry, I've been pulled over six times by the cops. I might even cry. I'm sorry, I'm lying. And doing? I might even cry. Were you going 85 or 95? Because if you were going 85, I'm not going to write you a ticket. But if you're telling me, see, this is where people don't think logically. If a cop pulls me over and says, hey, my radar gun wasn't working, then why the fuck did you pull me over? Listen to me. That's exactly where but, I'm but, going yeah, to. That's we, smart. we ain't going that deep. You're saying, being too smart for the question. Yeah. What I'm saying <laughs> is that this. Yeah. The officer said that if if you choose option C, and the speed I'm writing you a ticket. What? I'm, I, the if, speed limit 70? If you choose option C, I'm writing you a ticket. If you choose option B, I'm going to let you go. Common I'm, sense tell you, since you're using all your common sense, B. common sense, common sense say you're going to use B because you want to go free without a ticket. My point that I'm trying to make through all of this that you just ran away from because you know <laughs> I was going to it, you're smart enough to know I was going to it, is that a nigga ain't going to tell you the truth if that pussy is going, losing that pussy is going to be a risk. You know if what? I got a fish on the line and I do a certain, if I know a certain motion might reel him in faster, but if I can go in the same motion and I'm guaranteed to reel it in. that's where I feel I'm different. I'm not like the average female. I will slow walk a nigga down via conversation. But peep this. Because... They'll stop this. It's not, having conversations. We, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what kind of female you are. My objective is my objective. And I'm going to say whatever and do whatever to reach that objective. Guaranteed. So for you to expect yeah. a man to come to you and be upfront and, and, and honest with the risk of losing the fish on the line, he's never going to do it. He's not going if to. If ever a man tells you, I'm looking for a relationship. They lying. I already know they lying. They just... Out the gate, not niggas don't wake up looking for just, girlfriends. Right. I just when had they that conversation earlier. Girls at their leisure. I said, men don't men. There's not a man in America that wants to be in a relationship. Ever. So if a man chooses to be in a relationship with he you, guess what? You, you are special to him. Yes. Because we don't want to do this shit. Yeah. This shit is a job. It's just like anything else. I could have a job, right? I don't want to go to that motherfucker. I want that check though. So it's the same thing with a woman. It's like I don't want to be in a relationship, but I want you. And, I, and I'm going to show up every day and, and work and you. do the shit that I don't want to do to keep you. But, I used to be like that, too. Yeah, All but I'm, but I'm going to lie to get that job, though. I changed for me. I, I appreciate it. honesty. Yeah, like, me don't too. lead me on to a point. Like I And I've been in positions like this before yeah. to where I had a dude be like, oh, yeah, I, I rock with you, you this, you that. And then I didn't loan this nigga, like, a nice little sum figure of money, and then the nigga ghosted me. Yeah, so, and so he was just shit, fucking like, horrible you, you anyway. You should never it loan a shit. nigga no money. Yeah, because I'm not fucking no with no nigga. Time, I gotta loan no money. In your relationship, not no more. Said, you loan, I've done you loan that shit money, before, you got the wrong but fuck that. Nope. <laughs> that nigga nod to sleep. I <laughs> was <laughs> fuck me because yeah. I know I work hard. And I, I was care the same. And, and I he knew you worked hard too. That nigga that you got to loan money to is not a nigga yeah, you that need nigga to be knew fucking you with. Hard. That nigga should be trying to loan you money. I gave him, Listen, you I gave him this money back in 2020. No. He said he would have it back to me. I gave it to him the beginning <laughs> of August 2020. He said he would have it back to me the end of August 2020. This nigga hit me up February of 2022. I ain't forgot about you. Bitch, I forgot about you. I said, nigga, please don't call me. That man, no, is, still, that man is still smoking fuck. out the pack on her. Listen, he first of all, fuck. I'm just curious. What did he need the money for? A box Chevy. Okay, legally. Okay. <laughs> 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 
I, another dog, question. Okay, How well, quickly did he ask you for pussy after you gave him money? I haven't given him any. Oh, so you just you gave him money? money before yeah. you gave him some coochie? I like this. Well, you a gold mine. mine. You just changed me. You just changed my attitude on that nigga, though. I'm that nigga, you, that nigga fine. He left you with the pussy and just took the money. This nigga's on a... <laughs> I never gave him any, but this that's just wave. my character. That like I, I tell people all the time, I feel like I'm the last of a dying breed because I don't ask people for shit. That breed, but if you though. really yeah, need something, you fuck yourself up. and the way you, I was like that too. But that I, shit hurtful to you, you at the end because breed. people but don't think like you. If you the last one, you the last one, one, one which means ain't nobody gonna give you this energy back. <laughs> if the last I one. swear to God, on but everything you know I love, I was just like this too. But you're I'm learning. People are people. I don't come on the show more and be around these niggas, and you will realize that that shit gotta go. I'm, I'm okay. okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm they a lot changed. smarter. Like, I'm not just handing out No, I'm saying you, nobody. You're you. moving genuinely and other motherfuckers are not. And that's okay. That's you gotta you learn to yourself. put them in a box. If you give a nigga a loan before you give him some pussy. What? Listen, you you on the wrong I can get a loan before I can get some pussy. You're on the wrong track, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're looking for a husband again. No, 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 and these no, niggas no, ain't she ain't looking for a husband. I can get a loan. No, but five bands. You're not looking for no husband. Five bands, bro. My therapist, my therapist told me that. She said, you're stuck in wifey mode. You are. You're no, being, no, I was no, doing no. that shit. In you're in wife mode. mode. Oh, no. So you want to cater to these niggas, and these niggas it's, ain't caterable. You should never loan your husband five bands. Correct. Stop paying your therapist. But I ain't know that. Just text me. I didn't know that. Just text me. A nigga should never. Never have to come out there and have to ask you for shit. No, like, no, period. Listen, sometime, maybe Some a nigga might have Some to. Some coochie. But you earn equity in that. That's why. I'm. Don't ask me for the money. No, no, listen. You can You're marking up the wrong tree. <laughs> okay, no, no, let's check this out, though. Okay, cool. You say you want a nigga to just be honest, okay? Let me tell you how incorrect that is. You do not want a man to be honest, right? That is a myth that you think you want. Of course, everybody wants to be honest so they can move accordingly to how they think they should move. But the truth will kill you. You understand what I'm saying? I do. You don't let me finish. You don't know how much a nigga. You don't really. I don't think women really know how cold blooded it is to be a man. Sometimes what you have on you every day, we hunt down. We want to kill like, it. Can I tell you why I accept it? Uh, why? Because I was with a nigga for 13 years. Mm -hmm. That's all of my 20s. Right. The beginning of my 30s. Right. And to never know what I was with. So now my perception on mm -hmm. it is. For, for him, after 13 years and four kids, one miscarriage to say this was a marriage I never wanted, and you're thinking you know somebody. Right. My perception on it now is just be honest with me yes. up front. Finish your it's not going to hurt me. You can't, you can't no, tell no, her no, that, no, though. It's not going to hurt me let to be honest with me. Go ahead, finish. Yeah, no, no, no. It is going to hurt you. Uh, it's, let, it's no, really no. Let, let me be clear. It would have. You say that now in hindsight. Hindsight is difficult. Hindsight is different to speak on. You understand what I'm saying? The moment that a woman likes a nigga, she accepts a lot of uh, levels of fuckery. That what you just said, even being a wiser woman, that's a level of fuckery I can't comprehend. You get what I'm saying? You look too smart of a woman to fall for that level of fuckery. But when you begin to like someone, women go for the shit. I, I've known so many successful, I'm not talking about bum girls just falling for dumb mm -hmm. shit. Successful, intelligent, wise women. When it comes to men, it's like, bro, what, what the fuck are you thinking? Yeah. But you say honesty. If that man had a came to you and say, hey, check this out, don't listen, man. You cool? I don't want no pussy. I just need you alone with some money. I ain't gonna never give it back. What you trying to do? <laughs> he ain't getting but that money. I would have kept my money. Exactly. exactly. So why the fuck would he would say that you? if he ain't gonna get the money? If you heard the truth from your husband out the door, would he have been your husband? No. Facts. If you hear the truth from any man, you not signing up. You understand what I'm saying? Our truths are different from y'all's. Even the best case scenario. Even the best case scenario. I'm, I'm a lover. I talk about being passionate and loving on this show all so the time. So if a woman came to you and said, mm -hmm. hey, you cute and all, your dick small, but I still want to hang with you because you got money. Can we just be cool and you hand me money? No. Would, exactly. Yeah. So it's the same both ways. I would rather, don't leave me on. Well, all, the only thing I'm saying is, as a man, don't lead me on let, allowing me but, to but, think but, one but thing. But, but, you, but you have to understand yeah. this is when someone is approaching you, right? When a man is approaching you, he has his best interest in mind, not, not yours. You. So yeah. when Every I, human. if my best interest is in mind, just like you say, if the woman came to him like that, why the fuck would she say that when her best interest in mind? She would only tell him, hold on, hold on. Hold on. She, would, she would only tell him the truth if his best interest was in mind. Right. But being that my best interest in mind, I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you to get what I want. I just like we do everything. I'm just like when you go to a job interview. If you go to a job interview, you know if you tell these folks you smoke weed, you're not getting this job. I'm late a lot. Right, I'm late a lot. Right, your right. best interest is at heart, not this job. 
Everybody does everything. I made a post about this today. Everybody does everything in a self-serving fashion. Nobody ever does anything and with you in mind. that's the problem. Right. It's all, I posted but, that. But Did you see where I posted but that? But it's always going to be the problem because that is human nature. That's Humans human are nature. put here and your instincts are to survive. You feel me? There's a lot of shit you say you won't do, but if I put a plastic bag over your head and the only thing you can do to get that bag off your head is to do some shit you wouldn't do, you'll agree to it. Yeah. So that's all that human nature is put here to survive and to advance. And people will do anything to survive in advance. And you take that a lot less personally when you understand that and you move in the same fashion. Exactly. So exactly. I don't take it personal. Just be honest. But you can not going to get honesty you can never so ask when somebody a, is doing something for right. survival. You can never ask a man to love you and be honest because him loving you, it's him loving you is self-serving to him. I love you. But I also still want to do the shit that I want to do. And I'm not going to risk you by telling you the truth. You so get what I'm saying? I when I could just lie to you personal. and still do the shit I, I want to do. And keep you. So, I'm winning. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, for my answer for this question mm-hmm. to me is, I don't feel that they're lacking anything for real, for real. Mm-hmm. I do ask for honesty. However, I want it. Okay. This is going to sound crazy, but. Probably so. I feel like when you fuck with a girl, you know the amount of honesty she can take. That's what I'm asking for. I know there's some shit that you don't need to tell me, right. but like tell me enough that I feel like you being all the way real with me. But that's yeah. but so, that, right. But at the end of the day, that's it's self-serving. It is. That's but, but no, but it's not honesty. But it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not, still not honesty. honesty. Yeah, it's, it's not, not honesty. But like, just okay, that's fine. It's not. So don't. Okay, I always say fuck me good and lie to me. What I mean by that is. No, I can't take 100% honesty for real, but I would like you to be a little bit more clear. Like, okay, you know, like, I've had a person approach me, and it worked. I fuck with it wholeheartedly. They straight up was just like, you're intriguing. I fuck with you. I like you, da-da-da-da-da. But... This is what I have going on. So this is what cannot happen. I'm going to tell you a secret. Let me tell you what that really means before you start, though. Let me give him a phrase real quick. Okay, cool. It's just a quick phrase. What y'all got to understand is that this, men feel like this, I care enough to lie. Okay, I agree. Yeah. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I care enough to lie. Me, he said, but, what are you, what are, what are y'all lacking? I don't feel right. you're lacking. I feel that me rationalizing what you're saying is what's lacking. But can I interpret this for you as a friend? I'm telling you this with all my heart and soul. Do you know what that means? I do man, know what it means, what but that I'm mean, okay with it right no, now. What does that mean in man language? It, it means he don't fuck with me like that, this but he wants to fuck yeah, with this me. This means I want to fuck and I right. never going nowhere, I, and this is the politest thing that I can say, tell you, correct. and this is my excuse. Right. That is what I can accept, and, and let, I am and let okay me tell you that. that is the re- most ridiculous shit for a woman to accept. Right. Right now in my life, it works. But at least he presented me. it in a way, in a way she that had a choice. Right, I had a choice, she and I chose choice. to That's take like, that route. Okay, so look at I'm it this okay way. I'm with it. I a feel who great like with you. it. But what y'all, are, what y'all are neglecting the fact that the, uh, we agree with that y'all want honesty, and that's the right way. But what we're what we're telling you guys is that it's not worth we're the risk. It's not worth the risk because it may they, not be in a couple because of years, just like but right now, just, no, in the, even in the beginning, like just like she said earlier, if he he said if he said certain things, would she sign up for that? She said no, and she asked him if a girl says certain things, will he sign up sign up for it? He said no. You feel what I'm saying? Because you like bro, like like I said, self serving. So at the end of the day, yeah, we gonna nigga, motherfuckers are gonna lie because if that man said that to you in his honest, true feelings. You will cry yourself to sleep at night. You understand? <laughs> I know. No, you, you, no, listen though. It's a reason why men don't feel something. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off y'all specific situation. I'll just give you an example from all, all men can relate to this. Okay, cool. A- every man has been with the woman that I desired to sleep with, but I knew it wasn't going nowhere for maybe one reason or another, right? You might be very attractive, but it might be some things going on with you that I don't fuck with. Right. Your hair stank, your breath stank, you out of shape. Uh, I don't think you can dress. You're really tacky. You classless. You dumb as fuck. <laughs> I really hate all that shit you say. All of these things are the reasons why we don't. So if you want complete honesty, right, right, that's the kind of shit you will get, right. and you won't even take it from from even the, the, the standpoint that you're You'll taking it from. Right. right. Yeah. The right. reason why you're not that for him is reasons why you would hate yourself for. It. You got right. what I'm saying? Right. But I said it to you nicely enough to still get the pussy because a nigga can tolerate a lot while his dick hard. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. Like I said I fu- last week, I fucked the bitch just because she was breathing. Like, she was ugly <laughs> than the motherfucker, right? It's good enough, but that's good enough for a lot of niggas. Niggas that fuck, but yeah. I, 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 <laughs> No, no, listen, no. Niggas that fuck 300-pound bitches before. Do you believe that? 
It's handsome I, niggas by prostitutes and, and, and junkies and shit. I believe it. Right. Y'all love dope boys and shit like that. That dope boy getting his dick sucked by that bitch with no teeth out there. Like, that's real shit, though. You get what I'm saying? That nigga with all that design on is getting junky head and coming right home to you, and you sharing the same shit. I'm just telling you, though, that the limit between what a nigga will fuck and won't fuck is so long. You know large. how wild that look for a dude to get, <laughs> get topped off by a baser and then go home and happens get all topped the time. off by his own Happens lady. all the time. You but sharing why? baser happens. spit. Uh, what you mean why? That baser suck dick, fine. She already don't got no teeth. So you mean to tell me both? So you mean tell me both of them to swap spit with a baser before? Yes. If you didn't date, if you date dope boy, if you date hustle ass <laughs> niggas, I've never. Okay, I, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, you date a hustle ass nigga. <laughs> but this is where I'm getting at. Say South Park, the same thing got I told <laughs> you I dealt with in my marriage, and I asked him, "Hey, you keep cheating. What's going on? Be honest with me. I'm talking about in situations like that. Mm-hmm. Be honest with me. If you need another woman, let me pick her out. Let's have a threesome." And this nigga went off on me. Yeah, because I don't want you to be so, there. But at the same time, you're still cheating. I'm more pissed off now because you're doing secretive shit. Do y'all I'm understand that? Okay. Do y'all understand that? Like fucking off, there's more to it than just getting some other but pussy. pussy right. There's a thrill in it to the, to sneaking and doing some shit. It's almost like your parents telling you you can't do something. There's a thrill in the in the fucking um, adrenaline rush that comes well, with doing some sure shit you, you ain't supposed keep to be that doing. Same adrenaline when that nine get pulled when I find out some yeah, shit. Yeah, but my thing is like we <laughs> that's a part of the okay, adrenaline. Hell. But, but you want honesty, so could you? accept a good man let's say you meet a good man who is more passionate than your husband was consider it all that shit but he says listen no, I'm gonna sleep with other women from time to time and I do not I don't want you there but this is what I'm gonna be doing on the side hopefully you won't feel it I'll but do at, my best to make sure at that point sure. you're giving me a choice are you yeah, signing so, up for that but I'm asking you are you signing up for no. that so then that's why, why he would I tell, tell you that's what he's saying he's saying like that's like if you tell a little kid if I give you this sucker are you gonna eat it like and they it, say no when you know they are right that's a good though. example it's like why would you do that if he's wouldn't. saying he needs because in my mind I don't feel like any man can be faithful but you're thinking like a woman that's correct and they're telling you like a man and I get that what he does but at the same time I feel like there are still limits. I guess the way I'm thinking of it is okay. Yes, you want to fuck with other females, but there should be guidelines implemented. But this with is that. what this is what we're saying. He doesn't want your discretion. He don't want. You don't want your guidelines. All your rules yeah. makes it no. The fun. only discretion that might be okay is that I should put a rub on. That's Outside it. Of that, that's it. You, yeah. You're asking for too and you much. Can still catch <laughs> right. shit from her sucking your dick. Right. Correct. Shit in your mouth. You know so, but that's the point. She risk. damn sure ain't gonna suck your dick with a rub yeah. on. That's just a risk we gonna have to take. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no fucking weed. And this is where guns go. <laughs> I'm just saying, you just got that right. Maybe uh, you should call her and tell her to chill out with that head. You wild as hell. You wild as hell. If you get hit with a robot. That is when I would fucking say. A Dorex at that. Exactly, what? niggas. Oh, that's what I think. Yeah. Could you imagine getting hit in the in the in a, um, in a real Dorex? And one of the well, uh, gas station rubbers. No. No, I was like, <laughs> because I've literally told him your dick litter. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, no. But you're I'm, cool. just, I'm you're like cool. you in a lot of but, ways. But that's, but that, that's fine. It's just I've learned to just that's channel fine, that shit honesty. off because they don't give a I fuck. I just want you to know that you will never receive total honesty. Even ever. this level, since I've been doing this podcast, this is the least amount of pussy I have ever gotten in my life. <laughs> you talk too <laughs> much. I'm, I'm talking too much. So people think that this is my real personality. They be like, oh, he, he, he too, too honest. honest. And all. Look yeah. how, that's how you feel about everything. But I'm just on here giving like wide range opinions but people think this is me so a lot of women don't want to fuck with me now but when I was quiet I'm having the opposite it's like fucked up for me too you're a woman though niggas don't want to fuck you no they they like they think no they think I'm cool but it's like oh you're just cool but niggas was just looking for a way to fuck you oh you only got that show huh no (laughs) they're not trying to fuck they just think I'm cool as fuck no they don't think you cool that's all they say they don't try to hit them cause they leading to something they don't be hitting on me though Women that, are so delusional, bro. Man, they think bro, we delusional. Bro. He's talking about women. Yeah, women. If, 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 if a nigga jump no, I mean, in your DM, y'all. yeah. If he jump in your DM and be like, "Hey, you cool?" That's an opener. No, I know that. I'm not there, slow or there stupid. Is no These reason. niggas don't jump in my DM. If, is what I'm saying. That nigga niggas, jump in your DM about your hair, about what you eat, about what you do drink. Do not jump in my DM. I'm just saying anything. They my don't DMs jump. I'm not gonna. I'm Mine sure don't. all of them niggas no, trying to No, I have having girls hit on me more. Like, I got a little girl that wanted to come up here tonight and I can't, watch us podcast. I can't speak on women, but any man that's and in your DMs do. is trying to fuck. Nah, if he's saying... My GMs don't. My yeah. girl be don't. hitting on me, and I don't be having niggas. Even if he like asking that. for a service, he wants some pussy. Facts. You could do hair. He might want his hair done. He wants some pussy. But, them niggas don't ask me for that. They don't even try me man, like that, for real. Man, a nigga come get his back braided. Niggas do not try me. Braid back. Niggas don't try me at all. If they say something, they just say, hey, that's it. 
what level of self accountability do you take? I always judge everyone's growth in relationships about self accountability, no matter how bad your your person was. Mm -hmm. This. But I had to learn in my growth too, right? So I heard you talk about how bad he was last time. I've owned up to everything I've done. I was not the perfect wife. Um, there were times where he would make me mad and I wouldn't withhold sex because I felt like that was a form of punishment. Like mm -hmm. you upset me and now you feel like sex is going to fix it. No, I'm not talking to you for seven days then. Like if you do some shit to me <laughs> and it took you three days, mm -hmm. now I'm going to flip that shit. You're not, I'm not talking to you for five. And that's wrong. That's not how you should handle stuff. Right. There were other uh, situations where, um, like, he, he's very, very, very frugal. And I may have went and overspent knowing we had other shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, him yeah. being the man of the household, men feel like they are in power or they feel masculine when their finances are together mm -hmm. and their woman is faithful. He was cutting to his cheap money, too. Probably was, but as a mother of four kids, it's like, well, the kids needed this, this, and this, so I didn't give a fuck. Right. And so there was a, a level of disrespect in that aspect because when it comes to finances, you should communicate that with your mm -hmm. spouse before you just go swipe and spend. So there were things that I know for a fact I did, but at the same time, it doesn't warrant how you moved. And so even if you had an issue with me, come to me and again, be honest with me because I can't grow and change or learn if you're not telling me where I'm fucking up. Is there something that doesn't directly connect to him, though, like a behavior that you did because you said like, oh, he did this, so I did that or he is this way, but I'm this way. Is there something that is a poor behavior that is not connected to him at all? Like I need to change this going forward. Yeah, I was going to say I can't think of any, but there is. Um. I think I, well, it would still be connected to him. Certain certain ways how I moved when it came to being his wife, I tried to mother him more than allow him to be the man in the house. And so everything still, like when you're married, you're one. Everything still connects to him, even with me sitting here thinking about it. Like me not having my father in my life for over 20 years. At times there were certain things I think that I expected him to do and he treat him treating me more like a father figure mm -hmm. and him controlling everything in my life versus us working as a team or as a partnership. So no matter how you try to separate it, everything still goes back to that tie and that connection that you have with somebody, even though you try to separate it. Mm -hmm. If I sat here and just say, no, I wasn't fucked up. Like I, I really don't know because if it's again, not told to me, I don't know what to correct. Agree. Yeah, I feel that. Would you like one more opportunity to answer this question properly? Last time it was like, oh, I please too much. I explained to that, and I did not mean please in like a gratifying way. I meant like I will literally do shit that I know for a fucking fact I need to do for myself instead for the other person. Okay, it, like like a codependency thing, like not a good way. Is there behavior now in your life that you think you need to change? I told you before that when I get mad, I would just not say anything, but like nothing ghost like completely nothing to where the other person knows there's a problem but I keep saying nothing nothing but it's clearly some shit wrong so like you can feel the energy I'm not talking I'm not speaking I'm moving I'm just getting up going to work not saying a fucking word like you can't completely shut down on people just because you don't want to talk about it you know what I'm saying like right, right. that's literally not fair even if the other person did something to you Got you. So communication would be your biggest thing. Yeah, like if I get well, see, it's it was hard for me and to say in my last one because, um, when like somebody talks to me in a certain tone so much, I get very much like a child, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. Anxiety. I apologize. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry because I you don't apologize to me. I yell at you all the time. And I always write you and say I'm sorry. I wrote you today like oh, oh this is too much. I'm sorry. I'm always telling y'all I'm sorry, and you be like, ain't no need for you to apologize. I overly apologize because I hate to disappoint a person. So that's what I mean by over please. I'll do some shit like let's say I got twenty dollars, and my man is like, I want you to go buy this for me, and it costs fourteen ninety eight. I'm gonna go buy that shit. And then be like, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to just buy the shit. And then the next day when they be like, why you ain't have enough gas? I'm going to be like, oh, 
Oh, I, I don't use know. It to apologize. Like I mismanage my motherfucking money <laughs> because I'm trying to not disappoint this other person I for would, no reason. I would love to analyze you in the relationship. Though. I bet. I, 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 I would. I told you that shit goes nothing well, like book, this. Nothing. Yes, it. I, I swear to God, it does. It's like not. It's not this, in a good way. Though. Y'all think these I'm niggas would this? never leave you. I bet it's. They did. Like this, this nigga didn't leave me. It's three years in, and this nigga still met. Like, and yeah. you and, and you wouldn't leave them either because they. I let left you. because somebody's verbally abusing me and calling me stupid every day. I can't take that shit to a point that if every I, day if I, I want to die. Meet, if I ever meet a woman as perfect as you, and that functions like you, she can't get rid of me. I'm in the living room when she comes home. And that's why my exes be leaving see, notes on my cars and start, shit. Don't. No, but for real though, I, I told I'd, my ex today to come up. on the show, and this nigga won't. He nigga, said no. Why he gonna, we ain't gonna do nothing but confirm he's still cheating on you. No, he <laughs> said they're gonna agree with me more than you. We probably will. Maybe so. Yeah, yeah. y'all all Scorpios. I would have. They can never do it. No, we don't. just agree with right. No, wrong. I really do. Be don't be doing crazy stuff in a relationship. I be overly trying to please people for no fucking reason, and I really need to stop that shit and realize I mean, that I am a. Man, it just sound like it sound like a girl that was just taught to be submissive and pray about your problems. Man. And yeah, I don't even be like to argue from? with my nigga. I'll just uh, say sorry. I was born in Fort Campbell. I don't know what's exactly. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They just seem like it ain't nothing but foot rubs and hand massages. It and, is. And porridge and Ask back rubs and <laughs> shit <laughs> like that. That nigga like said porridge. Yeah, it like is. the good, the Campbell's it chicken. Is. I wish you would make me it porridge is. for this. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah, I eat porridge. I'm overly sensitive. I'm a crybaby. So uh, when it comes to the person I care about. No, not you being a crybaby. You told me I was a bitch ass nigga. She did sure I'm missing my old lady. Not she a crybaby. crybaby shit. But no, but okay. like I understand where she's coming from though, because for the person over pleasing, like yeah, if, if that shit for example, sad. if me and you in a relationship and you are mine, you're the only person that can do certain stuff that's gonna get under my skin. Compared but, to somebody. You're the but, only but, but the difference, I see. but the difference between you and her is that when he asks you what you did wrong in a relationship, you name things that you did wrong. And I'm just like, all right, cool. That will fuck with me. But when we ask her what I she did, did wrong, she I said did that wrong. I fucking overpleased. That's what I did I wrong. Did. Like, you had real issues. You can point out things that you did wrong oh, yeah, that most men would just be like, yeah. No, okay, listen. On past, I told them that I had sex trauma. I told them that I felt like I got cheated on because I was denying sex. And I said that's why I did not leave We don't him. remember that part. I don't yes. remember that either. Go back to the episode where I said I found out, but it was when I was saying, like, no, I don't want to do it. And I realized you can't do that. Nah, that so wasn't. that's why I did not leave for cheating. First of all, y'all not finna make me. I was with somebody for 10 fucking hey, years. Hey, hey, No. Tone the emotions down, brother. Just explain it <laughs> to us. I have a woman. I yeah. have emotions. Yeah, but the listener, we don't, we don't, okay. we don't understand. <laughs> Sorry, don't remember. listeners. Well, I've said this before that I, I know that I had traumas with sex because I would literally go a month without just because I was... Pain in pain being pregnant, and I know that that's not what you're supposed to do. So when he cheated, I didn't care because I knew I was doing that. No, nah, but this is what... what and what no, the, I, I also said that I ghost, and I do not speak up when I have a problem, me, and I wait we, until it explodes, right, but we and can, all but listen, of those are wrong. I understand that. You may have said those things at some point, but when we had the conversation and we asked you what you did wrong in a relationship, your answer was, I overplease. Because you, I didn't get to finish because y'all started saying on, that's like on, going to on, a job saying you work too no, hard. We, you did get to finish that because, that's after, like, buddy. because <laughs> after you said you overplease, we said, that's cap. Please tell us what you do wrong in a relationship. And you doubled down on overplease. Now, you may have said some of that stuff later on in the podcast. But when we asked you, and it was spotlighted. I said in the podcast, for real though, like, I, I y'all just, don't understand, I'm really getting emotional right now, for real emotional, because I really, really worked hard for my marriage. I didn't want it to don't, end. You better not cry. No, because I did. I did every fucking thing I could. And we're not, and we're and not. And no. We're, and right, and we believe you. We're not I denying didn't that. do anything. But you listen, do listen, everything he told me I was wrong about, I changed. He said you, I was fat, I lost 100 see, pounds. Listen, you do understand that by taking, we asking you what you did wrong does not mean that you were at fault for the marriage failure. No, I'm saying all the things I did wrong, I tried to address when they happened because I didn't want to lose it. I didn't want to right. be a failure. I hate to disappoint anyone. Anyone that I care about, I do not like to disappoint. So I never tried to do anything. If that man said, I don't like your friend, I cut them the fuck off. And we agree with that. But all we're saying, all we're saying, I have no issue with none of that you just said. All we're saying is that when we ask you a question, this was your answer. But also in the course of that, and I understand how everybody, you know, uh, um, what our self-perception is, 
It's right. something that, you know, we all have to work on. Right. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. In a relationship where this man saw me, I, I kissed the ground this woman walked on. You know the relationship I'm talking right. about, right? right? I got my ass kicked in that relationship. I can go sing into the mountains how that woman did me wrong, and I can come out skating clean, right? But if I just take a second to look back and analyze that relationship, even when I was the best thing smoking in that relationship by far, you was doing something I wrong. I can still find things that I'm like, bro, I could. and those things, and, 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 and those, effect. and those things weren't right. things like, well, what did you do? I overpleased, right. or I did too much. It was all, you. You could look back yeah, at yeah, that was individual yeah, poor indi- behaviors right, right. that I hadn't learned yet. Right, and I know for a fact I did, and I knew when my marriage was ending, I was like, yeah, this shit over. This yeah. shit is completely done. And I can honestly say that in a relationship I've been in that I ain't the one that fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like I could I could look in the mirror and say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and, and, and all I'm saying is that that was your answer. I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm just saying when we were in the in the moment of that debate, that was the answer. Air hugs. You don't want my air hugs? You're not going <laughs> to air hug me back? I'm your, I'm your host. Air hug me. Okay. We didn't want to hurt your feelings. We just said, bring it in. You're not bringing it in? <laughs> You're an asshole right now. Such an asshole, baby. You got to hug a motherfucker that can say like I'm, that to me. I'm air hugging you. <laughs> Same for us. Oh, you might do it. I'm not saying, One bar. I'm not saying uh, what's that nigga Wolf from uh, uh, Cadillac Records. Oh, Black Smoke Stack. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about I just realized how much of a fucking classic that is, bro. What's that? Cadillac Records, bro. That shit was hard, that though, shit is a little Walter, you my white daddy. Sick. Man, that's my shit, though. That's just a classic. Hey, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank y'all for watching Anxiety Issues Podcast. Uh, I'm sorry that we cover Roe versus Wade in the fashion we did, but hopefully you got some points from it. Uh, I understand everybody's debating on it. Try not to kill each other online for people taking different stands because I also met a young lady who said she wanted to come on the show who has the opposite opinion. She feels mm-hmm. like that, right. you know, I, I, she's happy that it got I, overturned. I bumped into I, a few people like that. Right, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't but, expect that. And they women, so. And, and what, what, what we, like, it goes back to the point I make at the end of every show is that just because you have an opinion and you feel strongly about it doesn't mean it's right. People have a right to have an opposing opinion. That's why they call opinions. Neither side is factual. Right. So it's like there are some people out there who feel a different way than that, and you can't fucking criminalize them for feeling that way. Yeah, like you just got to allow people to have their opinion because at the end of the day, everything that's right for you is wrong for somebody, and everything that's wrong for somebody is right for you. Facts. Lala, thank you for coming back. Of course. I, st- I I get the urge to call you Lolo every time. I have no clue why. She look like but a Lolo a little bit. I think I just I'm just getting that vibe. Lolo. Who is Lolo? I don't you. know. She, you is Lolo. <laughs> I don't know at all. Yeah, yeah. But, um, the only Lolo I know is Key Lolo from from Martin. Yeah, and then it's his friend. Lolo Woods fine though. The uh, Odell baby mama, big that, bad. That's bad, his mama. Bad. That's her name. Mm-hmm. That's the white girl. She me. Man, you always talking about somebody mix. That woman white. I like man. a little cream in there. Uh, me? Oh, no. I'm, I'm not going to start with y'all <laughs> two minutes, 30 minutes. Hey, listen. Last chance. You're not going to air hug me before they go? Come yeah, on, friend. Man, hug, Come on, man, podcast. Guys, damn, damn, bro. We got to end. only opportunity it's the, not to look it's bitter, for man. The camera. I, don't, I don't look bitter. Okay, well, air hug me. that man. You said you like hugs earlier. And nah, you, two you, hands. You just said oh, you got to go. work there on communication. Go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there you go. And they're going to happen. All that advance. Them folks is going to be like, yo, man, who crying? But I will say this. I will say this in my dog favor, though. I can tell that you are somebody who is good in relationships and any man that has you would be lucky. So I'm never saying that when I'm like on your trail, all I'm doing is challenging what I hear you say. And some of it do be capped because we all have things that we need to fix. So if you lead a debate with the things you need to be need to fix, be like some job interview shit. Like I work too hard. It's like, it's going to come across as if like, them like you don't do nothing wrong that's what people are going to assume i'm sure you did you've done things wrong and it's like you have to lead with those things i can't lead with the positive things that are negative i have to lead with the things the negative things that are negative because that's what people want to hear when they ask about what you did wrong they want to hear what you did wrong you feel me not what you did right wrong you feel me but i i i I feel like you dope i believe that i believe that i believe that i believe that and you can take us out man Listen, thank y'all for tuning into the Anxiety Issues Podcast. I'm Adam 12. Taylor here with my brother Boneface, the Boneface Inc., and the talented cry baby hairstylist, Tania Greedy. Who doesn't give air hugs. I know. Terrible.
Thank y'all for tuning Long in. Until next time. Ring, I mean, drinking. <laughs> <laughs> look at the glass. How we did it. Give me life. Yeah, uh, man. Man. <laughs>